Hi guys. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, can't see my necklace. I love my necklace. Uh, I know it's late, but I had a lot that I had to get done today and even prep for tomorrow. So I apologize for coming on so late. I've lost track what days they I'm in right now, or everyone. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I do apologize. Oh, I can't see anyone's comments. Why is that? Let me find myself on YouTube. Because no one's comments are coming through. Okay, I'll look it up here. There might be a, a delay then, guys. Sorry. Um, we'll go here. Oh, there we go. Hi. Hi, Linda. Heard whisper you were coming on. <laughs> yes, really. <laughs> well, thank you and welcome. Hi, Annette. How are you? <laughs> I have something I want to show you, Linda. I don't know if you'll be interested, but it is something. It's a, a bullhorn skull necklace. It's new. So <laughs> I hope you'll like it. Um, let me find myself. How are you guys? It's Friday. Yay! Nothing exciting here, really, but, um, I have, um, I did, oh, good, Annette. Um, I'm gonna, the only exciting thing in my life right now is, um, my tenant and I are gonna get some pizza, and I'm going to nuke it so it kills the virus. Hi, Lori. Oh my gosh, Lori, I'm sending your package tomorrow. I'm putting something really nice in there. Can't wait. How are you, Lori? You're up late. <laughs> I was just asking Ro about you today. I thought, how is she doing? Um, okay, let me, let me find myself. Let's see. Creative. Lori been meaning to call you actually so sorry I've been meaning totally to call you Lori okay there I am let's see if I can see the comments any faster it's probably gonna be a delay on my laptop because I need uh, Windows 10 on the laptop because I haven't upgraded <laughs> hi Jenny oh my gosh Jenny you're up late too Jenny, I caught you and um, your mom and, uh, um, oh, what's her, uh, your friend's name? I can't remember. She's so cute, though. Loved it. Hi, Francis. I just couldn't say a whole lot because I was kind of packing and I had to get stuff off to the, I had to, I had to get stuff off to the post office today and I had two internationals, so. <clears throat> Viv, okay, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love you guys all together. And your mom is just so happy to do it too. She's just so cute. Um, okay, so I, how many people are in here? Nine, eight. So Linda, you're in here. I wanted to show you this. Um, this is 205 um, carats of gemstones. Now these are, this is brand new. It's a, let me get my, um, hold on. Let me get my ruler. I forgot. It, it, oh, here it is. Okay. It's a, uh, what length is it? I forgot. I just looked at my spreadsheet, but I don't want to bring it out right now. I think it's a 20 inch or is it 22? It's so pretty. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Thanks for being the birdie. <laughs> um, okay, it's a 20 inch. All right. So, it's a 20 inch brand new hematite. And it has, um, it's a bullhorn skull. And it has a flower on the forehead. Kind of reminds me of... Mm, kind of Day of the Dead um, in Mexico or 
other thing, I can't remember what it pertains to, but it's so cute, and the charm is so nice. has a lot of etchings in the horn and everything. So this is a necklace. It's a 20-inch. They're all hand-carved barrel beads of hematite. Then there's round ones. Yeah, like Cinco de Mayo. But um, Day of the Dead is uh, Mexico's, uh, you know, Halloween. Kind of like how, yeah. So this one has like a, uh, an etched flower on the forehead. And all this, you know, isn't that pretty? Yeah, exactly. And then you can see the horns and all of that. Um, I'm going to start this one off at 15. If anyone's interested. It's your, oh, me too, Lori. I love Halloween. I get like 300 kids, and I love handing out kids. I don't know what's going to happen. Thank you, Jonathan, for tagging me. <laughs> thank you, thank you on Facebook. Um, yeah, it kind of does look more like the Spanish version, right? Poor little guys. Thank you, Jonathan. That's so nice of you. So we're at 15 with Miss Linda. Yeah, I get like 300 kids and I have to have help. Like usually my tenants help me or a friend. But this year, I don't know what's going to happen with, um... You know, with Halloween. And I love Halloween. I love it. Love it, love it. Oh, yeah. Linda, you would know. You're in Spain right now, right? But you're, you're not Spanish. You're Norwegian, right? I have some family in Norway and... Um, Norway and... What's the other one? Um, in Sweden. I think that's it. Norway and Sweden. That's it. I know, isn't that sad? I did it totally inexpensive last year. I was so excited and I thought, oh, I'll do that this year. All right, if no one else is interested, we're gonna go once to Miss Linda. Look how thick this is. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, this is probably almost an inch and then not counting the horns, which is really nice. And it has a magnet clasp, which is nice, but you can fit it over your head, but it is a 20 inch. Going twice to Linda. And Linda, I keep meaning to reply to your email. Uh, your, where you live is gorgeous, really. Probably, my grandparents are French. They're from France, and um, they migrated to Mexico, then to the U.S. And that's how I came about. All right, fair warning. And hi, Pat. How are you? Sold to Miss Linda. All right, awesome, Linda. Thank you. Isn't that beautiful? It kind of, you know what? Actually, it reminds me of Indian culture, too, because they do paint, like, flowers on the, the forehead of... Um, of uh, the animals, whether it's a <sighs> elephant, um, you know, elephant, cow, you know what I mean? So that's awesome. What do you guys say? Uh, you're Irish and Indian. I'm a little Irish, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Cricket. Oh my gosh, Cricket, you're up late too. Holy moly. Oh, thank you, Pat. I'm wearing this blouse. I never wear this blouse. And I forgot why. It's because it has these long um, things on my sleeves. And at work, they would get in the way. You know what I mean? So I really don't wear this blouse, but I forgot why. So, hi, Sandy. How are you? All right, so Linda, I have a second one. Are you interested? If not, it's okay. Um, let me write you down, Linda. So 205 carats on that. 
So this is a uh, hematite, um, wool pendant necklace, 205 carats. Great deal. Hi, Lucinda. How are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Miss. Oh, look how pretty the back is, by the way. Isn't that beautiful? Really nice. Okay, thank you. So, I have two going to you. That's just became the Linda and Lori show. <laughs> I know. You know what, Jonathan? Look. I got to put this somewhere else because I don't want to get it confused. I have to still invoice like three people. I feel so bad. I mean, they probably don't feel bad because they owe money, but I feel bad because I haven't done it yet. Thank you, Linda. So we got two for Linda. Let's see, two. So got it. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. You're so nice. <laughs> And Sandy, how are you? I am really good. Um, I'm trying to hurry because my tenant is up and he's going to be, I told him, I said, don't you dare get online and play games right now. I said, he goes, don't tell me what to do. And I go, I'll tell you what to do. All right, so I have some stock here. <laughs> we just, we fight like brother and sister. Um, I have some stock here. Now, this was previously purchased, but the person never paid. Um, oh, thank you. I, You know what? I forgot I had it. I totally forgot I had it. But white kind of washes me out because I'm so fair, but oh well. Um, <clears throat> now, this was previously, previously purchased, but they did not pay their invoice. And, um, for whatever reason. So it's going back into stock. And this is a set. Now, Jonathan, I think you're bidding against that person, actually. Now, it's sold for $120. i am just going to do it as a buy it now for 100 But it is Peridot, um, Quartzite, Ruby, Sapphire, Amethyst, Citrine, Quartz. And they're faceted heart stones, which I'll show you. And then it has a necklace in um, stainless steel. Um, that's a cage, so you open it and you put the stone in. So I'm just going to show you. So if anyone's interested, this is stainless steel. It's all filigree. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm just wearing a cheap necklace. But sometimes I like big, chunky, cheap necklaces. So you see all of those faceted stones. And then you see the necklace in, um, it's a cage. It's a filigree cage. So you put whatever stone you want that in there. I know. I actually love it too. Oop, I tingled a bit. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? And Jennifer is one of the persons I have to still invoice and send out her package. Poor Jennifer. Sorry. So it's a cage. I think it's a 20 inch. I'll double. Yeah, it's 20 or 22 inch. And it is all filigree. So you can see it's hollow and you open it up and you put the stone in and I forgot I have to take this off hold on I'll, I'll put one in um, no 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 that's the puppy because he, he hates Brian so let me take the pendant off so it comes off like that Sorry, you guys. No. Sorry, you guys. He seriously hates Brian. Oh, that's Ibrahim. 
sorry. Hi, Doris. Sorry, you guys. Hey, come here. Leave him alone. <laughs> Shh. So these are the faceted stones here. Come here, right now. You're going to get a spanking, a big spanking. Right now, you're going to get a big spanking. Sorry. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so it's just a buy it now. And it was sold previously for 100, 120 and then that person didn't pay um, their, um, what's it called? Invoice. And so you get six stones. They're all faceted. And I'm going to show you on the mannequin. And if no one's interested, that's okay. Not a problem. Oh, thank you, Doris. No, I'm okay. I just haven't come on in a while. I think I was on last, what, Monday? So that's the red. We have the citrine, um, the peridot, quartz, uh, Mexican quartz, amethyst, and sapphire. So there are six stones. If no one's interested, just say pass, and we shall pass. Sorry, guys. Shh. Get over here. <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't know what it is. Hey, Kimmy, how are you? But he, like, nips poor Abraham's heels, practically. And he gets on his, like, heels. Come here. You are a dirty, mean dog. No, you're okay. You're okay. No. No. You're terrible. You're a terrible dog. Sorry, guys. How are you, Kimmy? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put that back because... Doesn't seem like anyone's interested. We're moving it along. <laughs> and he's chasing him up the stairs, you guys. Get over here right now. Sorry. I don't have a, um, a mute button on here <laughs> to yell at him. All right, we're going to move along. <laughs> tolerates actually Ibrahim more than Brian because Brian hates the puppy. He hates him. And he's mean to him. But Ibrahim's nice. Um, Ibrahim is the policeman and he's just <laughs> I feel bad for Ibrahim. Alright, so I have some like earrings here. I'm going to sell this one as a set. Um, I love these. These, Hi, Tammy. How are you? This is... Um, so, hey, Chacha. How are you? So, these are... I love these. These are my favorite. Um, okay, I'm going to go to bed. I just wanted to stop and show my support. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet, Jenny. I liked watching yours, but I couldn't comment today because I had, I was taking care of a lot of stuff. <laughs> so these are um, clamper bracelets that are stainless steel, and this is in like a giraffe um, enamel. And then it has um, some Austrian crystals. I'm not sure if they're Swarovski, so we're going to say they're not because I don't know. But they are in every other, no, they're in every... Oh, yeah, they are in every one. So in all the gold parts, there's um, a crystal. Okay. Which is nice. Hi, Lisa. So I'm going to pair that with these, which are also enamel. They're black, stainless steel, and um, 
they are gold, just like the earrings. So we're going to sell these. Um, we're going to start them off, I should say. Um, we'll start these off at $5, which is beautiful at <laughs> a great price. And hold on one second. I gotta get my water here. I got Francis at five. Let me show you them on or this on. Isn't that beautiful? And they have Austrian crystals. Here are the these are half, um, we got six with Jonathan, half, no, they're three-quarter hoops, and there's a certain name for them, and I don't remember the name. Let me bring myself down a little bit. Seven with Francis. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's good, huh? I hope it's not choppy, you guys. I have a feeling it's a little choppy tonight because everyone's on the internet. Uh, we've got nine with Francis. It's a nice set. Stainless steel. It's very classic. Look at even with stripes, it looks good, in my opinion. I don't like my sleeves though. <laughs> but I thought I can't keep wearing the same things. <laughs> All right, we're going to go once with Francis. Going twice with Francis. Sorry, that's my refrigerator. Going three times with Francis. All right, and we are sold to Francis. Thank you so much, Francis. Sold for $9. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you so much. I need, um, I need a bin <laughs> to put things in tonight. Oh, you know what? I'll put it right here in front of me. Okay. Thank you so much, Francis. Okay. Um, stainless steel... Giraffe, black enamel, bracelet, earrings. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's see, what shall I show next? All right, so... I'm going to do this as a set. Well, maybe I should. Okay, this is a brand new um, natural halite. So halite is um, white when it, in, you know, nature, in our environment. <laughs> and, um, but it can be dyed different colors and everything. Hey, Robin, how are you? How are you? How are you? So Robin from Because She Shed and I are related um, through my dad's side, and uh, which is through the Boone side. And uh, yeah, so she's my cousin. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so I'm just showing some jewelry here. Thank you for coming on. She does a lot of characters. I swear to God, that banana gets me every time. And so does... Um, the uh, Jerry the Turtle. <laughs> so this is natural halite. It's a, uh, let's see, it's a hexagon. Yeah, hexagon. And so it's brand new. And it has the stainless steel. Um, bezel and bale. Isn't that pretty? I love the veining and halite. Oh, I love, I forgot. I like um, Argyle sock too. Yeah, his voice is so cute. <laughs> and then it's on a new um, waxed cord. So it's brand new. I think this is a 
uh, maybe 18 inch. But it's brand new. You can put on whatever necklace you want. Um, let's see. It is... Yeah, so it is approximately, yeah, 20 inches. 20 inches, natural halite. So we'll start this one off at um, $15. It's brand new. Isn't that pretty? And it's just on a wax cord, but you can put it on whatever you want. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. <laughs> Keeping it in the family. <laughs> thank you, Robin. You're so sweet. <laughs> That's the third time I've had a um, super chat, actually. T um, gave me one, and then, um, uh, then it was a long time ago when I was doing like a... Um, I was raising money for my dad's cat to have surgery. Yeah, so thank you so much. That's so nice. Okay, Jonathan's in at 15. We're going to go once to Jonathan. We're going twice to Jonathan. It's really beautiful. Very nice and thick. Oh, and let me measure. So, so Jonathan, you even know. Um, it is, the pendant itself is an uh, inch and just over, it's almost an, an inch and a, oops, inch and a, a quarter. All right, three times to Jonathan. And we are sold to Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you so much. All right, let me write this down. I'm gonna put that right over here. Uh, let's see, Jonathan, 15, great deal. Let's see, new, white, highlight, 20 inch wax cord. Got it, thank you so much. Hi, Daisy. How are you? Oh my gosh. I always love when Daisy comes on because I never see her very often. <laughs> Welcome, Daisy. You're up late too, like we are. My dad's on, by the way, you guys. He's watching. Um, I, I talked to him right before I came on. So, he's on. Hi, Dad. Um, Alright, let's get into... I'm just kind of pulling from this person's, um, I'm good. I've just been, uh, super busy, you know, with all my, well, packaging and, um, gardening. <laughs> hey, Lydia, how are you? Hola, me. <laughs> Hi, my beautiful friend. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Kimmy. Oops. Oh, Daisy, you might be interested in this. This is a lapis ring. I don't know if it's the right size, though. Um, it's a size 7, just to let you know. Let's see here. I'm just going to um, look. I think I missed. Yep, I pulled it part of my spreadsheet. All right, so this is... Okay, this is um, tanzanite and, uh, sorry, mainly lapis, lazuli, and then some tanzanite. It has an Art Nouveau feel to it, so this is, this is it. Look how beautiful that is. It has a swag, so that kind of dictates the Nouveau part. But it has one, two, three, um, let's see, what finger should I put it on? I put it on this one. Three tanzanites on the side. They're prong set. So you see the swags in the design around the bezel, right? Thanks, guys, for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. 
Let me take off my ring. So it's like a stained glass window underneath on the undercarriage. And um, it's prong set lapis. Um, isn't that beautiful? I'm going to start this one at $40. It has three tanzanites right here. Let me get a little closer. It's swagging the design. And it's a big chunk of lapis. Um, let's see, did I write down how much lapis it is? No, I didn't. Okay, sorry. Let's see. You're size 9. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Alright, we'll start this one off at $40, but it is an Art Nouveau piece. I hope you can see all the detail. It has a little embossing on the under part there. Let me move it over. Right here. And you could see how beautiful that tanzanite is right just below it, underneath the swags. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just... Oh, I love lapis. Thank you. Alright, no interest. Just say pass. And we'll pass. Oh, did I tell you the metal? I'm sorry. It is platinum ionized um, any gold flex sterling. Okay, so this one is platinum ionized over brass. So it's very strong. It's not going to wear off because it's ionized. Um, there's plating and electroplating and gold filled. Those will sometimes rub off. Um, let's see. So this one's starting at 40. Doesn't it look like an antique piece, like from the 30s? Isn't that beautiful? So you have the three prong set tanzanite right there. Then you have all this embossing all around the prong on the bezel and the swags, which is very Art Nouveau. And then you have that beautiful stained glass imprint underneath on the undercarriage. It almost looks like um, peacock feathers, which is beautiful with the blue showing through. All right, so it's starting at 40, and it has filigree underneath. Right there, you can see. Isn't that beautiful? And if there's no interest, just say pass. All right, we're going to pass. It seems like there's no interest in it. We're going to pass with it. All right, next one is, oh, yes. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I don't take offense to it, believe me. Yes, I do. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't take offense. <laughs> okay, this next one. Uh, let me look up the details. It is a vintage Native American um, That's not it. Where is it? Oh um, Here we go This is a size 6 I believe and let me get my sizer out my mandrel Yeah. Oh, it's a little, it's like a six and one quarter. Six and one quarter. I don't know if you can see that. But it's so beautiful. It's sterling silver. It is a native piece. It's more of a modern piece. Um, it has three colors of the mother of pearl. White, cream, and pink. And then um, it's all inlaid with a little abalone which we can't dive for abalone anymore. And then it's um, sterling silver, and then it has marcasite all around. <laughs> I know, huh? It's small, <laughs> me too. Look at that. It doesn't quite go over my knuckle. Isn't that pretty, though? Um, so this one is, let's see. 
Yeah, six. I should have wrote six and a quarter. Um, we'll start this one off at 50 if anyone's interested. It is a native piece and it's all inlaid pink, cream, white, mother of pearl, and then the abalone. Inlaid is really a true art, too. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Okay, if no one's interested, we're going to say, say pass. And it's a thick um, band, which is nice. So here's the underside. I know, isn't that? I love Mother of Pearl. I'll never, ever get tired of it. But a lot of the natives use that in their um, inlaid work. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, that's a good view right there. Isn't that pretty? Oh, get the fingers out of the way. All right, we're going to pass. It doesn't seem like anyone's interested, which is fine. Um, this next one is a coral ring. This is definitely native. Um, this one is, I think, Mark. I can't remember now. <laughs> well, it's Mark 925, but, um, yeah, this is a native. Now, this one, my dad got, now he, my dad used to live. Hey, Donatella. <laughs> Silver findings here. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing because, like, I didn't realize how often I would say there's silver findings on here. <laughs> but, but it is a word. <laughs> it's a term. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, so this is a native piece. So my dad lived um, in Nevada, and where he lived... He's back to California now. He just moved there after my mom passed away. But um, there's a lot of Navajo, um, Indian, and Paiute. So I, he thought it was possibly, um, what did I write in my notes? He thought it was possibly, uh, yeah, he thought it was probably Paiute. Let's see, it's a six- and th three quarters, almost a seven. Hey, Mama, how are you? How are you? How are you? And Donatella, happy belated birthday. I actually have a gift here for you that T got you. It's right here. I'm not going to show you. But I need your address. <laughs> if you could email it or if, um, if T can email me. I I just need your address. That's it. Um, it's from T, though. So this one, it's coral. Um, it is a native piece. It's probably from the early 60s, late 50s. It's got a thick base here. Um, look how beautiful that is. And, you know, we can't dive for coral anymore. So what we have is what we have. This is a big ring. It's a native ring, and I, my dad thinks it's Paiute. So um, we're going to start this one off at 65. Now, this could be tripled easily, actually a lot more. I just don't list on eBay anymore. Six and three quarters... Yeah, she bought it like, um, I can't remember that it was early in May, but I, I, um, well, I won't get into the details, but I need her, <laughs> your address. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? All right, if there's no interest in this native ring, it's pretty big. The, um, square of it is... Yeah, three quarters of an inch. That's pretty big. Thank you. Aw. <laughs> Poor Robin. 
Robin, come and hang out at the beach with us. You know what? I won't hang out with anyone right now. I'm too paranoid. I want this whole thing to be over before I hang out with anyone. It's just too scary for me. Even like my tenants, when they come home, after they come home, I whip everything down with um, antiviral like wipe, doorknobs, light switches, anything I think they touch. You name it, I, I wipe it down. And so, um, <laughs> like tonight, one of my tenants said, well, I'm going to order pizza, which he told me yesterday. And I said, okay, well, um, that's, I, I think, I haven't eaten out in like, I don't know, a few months. And I said, um, that's fine. I said, I'll, I'll order some too. And um, I said, just as long, like, I can nuke it, you know, and then it'll kill the virus. <laughs> well, that's what they say anyway. So... All right, we're going to do a fashion jewelry earring lot. But I mean, I am so paranoid because if something happens to me, then I don't know who's going to take care of my dad. Aw, that's so great that you guys are all getting together. Oh, yeah, and then my tenant found uh, Lysol the other day, and I was like, oh! I was so happy. I was like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> and I am a germaphobe. Like if one of the tenants come down, like one of them already did, he's doing laundry. Hi, Susan. Susan, let me think here. Yeah, your package went out yesterday and I put something really pretty in there for you. Alrighty, here is, I'm going to show this men's ring. So this is a new stainless steel, um, and it has 14 karat gold ionized on the edges and on the underneath. It's a size 11. So for any of you who are size 11, we're going to start this one off. So um, it's a matte stainless steel finish. Let's see here. There we go. And then it has the 14 karat ionized on the edges and on the inside. Size 11 men's ring. I'm just putting it on my thumb because it's so big. Um, we're going to start this one off at $15. Oh, I'm putting it on my middle finger. <laughs> Pardon that, but my, yeah, there we go. You can kind of see the two-tone. Thanks, guys, for the thumbs up. Thank you very much. All right, if no one's interested, we're going to move on. And... Check your email. I sent Donna's. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Susan. I know. Sorry I ruined the surprise, but I haven't been able to get a hold of um, Donna. I mean, T. Sorry. Thank you, Francis. We have Francis at 15. All right. If no one else is interested, we're going to go once to Francis. Well, first of all, I think... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's funny. All right, we're going to go twice at Francis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Three times at Francis. And sold to Miss Francis. Thank you, Francis. I wasn't giving you guys a middle finger. <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> well, I have done it, but not to you guys. Some people deserve it, you know that? I'm just saying. 
Some people are naughty. Really mean. Especially now because I think they're getting so pent up and frustrated. They're taking out everyone, um, taking out their aggressions on other people. <laughs> Even here on YouTube. All right, men's 11 ring, 14 karat stainless steel. Thank you so much, Francis. Let me put my ring back on. All right, this one. I have to look this one up because I don't remember what it is. Um, it's vintage. It's all silver. Um, it's a native piece. It is... Um, where's my vintage at? Um, here we go. Yeah, this one is beautiful. Some people definitely deserve it. <laughs> Good night, Mama. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. People are naughty. Shame on them. <laughs> so this is from Israel. So Israeli silver is actually really nice. Um, a lot of grumpies out there nowadays. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think some people because they can't shop or get their fix somehow. <laughs> they're getting so mean. <laughs> but you know what? There's bigger problems in the world. So I just don't pay attention. So this was, um, this here, they, um, actually they set a mold and you could see that by, they carve a casting out of wax, probably. So you see that each one looks the same on the back because they carve, you know, um, a casting for it, which takes a lot of work, the wax casting. And it's a link bracelet. It's um, some, she we can call them a chevron or arrowheads. And, um, so it's a shepherd's hook link, hook. And then it has the, it, like, a, um, I can't re read um, Farsi or... I actually, I don't know any of the languages in the Middle East at all. But it is an Israeli piece. It's written in, I don't know if it's Hebrew or, <laughs> I can polish very easily. Um, so it's meant to have oxidation, actually. You see that black there? It's meant to, <laughs> and on these chevrons as well. So that's easily. Oh my goodness. Uh, um, so, <laughs> I'm blushing now. So, the length of this is on the first nodule. Um, well, it would be seven and a quarter all the way down to eight. Gosh, eight and a half. So, that's pretty nice. It's an Israeli piece. Thank you. Start price is, let's see, hold on. Let me look at this. The start price, and I'll weigh it for you guys because I don't think I wrote that down. Uh, did I? Um, the start price on this is 65 and I'll have to weigh it. Let me weigh it really quick. And, oh, Donna, I... I just put away my big um, lemon that I had here the other day, or when I showed you guys last. Hold on, let me take a sip of my water. Thank you. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Point nine ounces. So to that, I think I'm gonna need a little coffee in a bit. Um, point nine ounces is I don't know in grams, but if someone can translate that, it's pretty thick. <laughs> I'm glad she likes my lemons. I'm just glad I never grew melons. Oh, Lord have 
birthday. <laughs> All right. So it's ugly, Tammy. What? Who's at 65? I love it too. No, who's at 65? Is no one at 65? Did I just miss that? Or Susan, you're, you're, oh, Susan, right. Got it. Gotcha. <laughs> oh my gosh. I get so embarrassed when people th say naughty things. My dad's on here, you guys. <laughs> Don't say anything naughty. <laughs> Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, 0.9 ounces is 255 grams. See, that's a lot. I'm blushing a little bit. Oh, Lord have mercy. 25.51 grams. Oh, 25.51 grams. Okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Susan is telling me it's ugly, so I won't buy it. I know, I know. This actually, it's um, Israeli, gosh, Israeli silver is really nice. It's like Italian silver, Mexican silver, some of the best, and they're artisans. This is an artisan piece. Um, it's all hand-casted in a wax mold, so that's why they all look so the same. They create a mold, they pour it, and that's why the back even looks the same. And then you have this gorgeous medallion that's in, uh, I think it's Hebrew. That's that side, and then there's that side, and I did test it. So we have 65 with Susan. Thank you so much. Thank you. It is really unique. <laughs> She's mean all the time. You guys have very similar tastes. Tammy, you have similar tastes. There's one other person who always goes after the same thing. <laughs> all right. So, if no one else is interested for all this silver handcrafted by an artisan in Israel, we're going to go once. To Susan. Oh my gosh, Susan, you're getting such a great deal. Going twice to Susan. Look how thick that is. That's silver. Going three times to Susan. Fair warning, guys. And sold to Miss Susan. Thank you, Susan. You you actually deserve it because you're such a sweet lady. This is a good deal, but you deserve it. Thank you, Susan, so much. I should set your package out. <laughs> We're going to put it in here. I don't like when jewelry hits each other. All right, Susan. Okay, Susan, 65, native. Is really, I'm gonna call it chevron piece, and that was 25 point something 10 grams, I believe. Bracelet, got it. Thank you, thank you. My little face palm person needs long hair. I need to grow my hair out. I cut it a little too short, but I'm gonna grow it out. Birdie told me. <laughs> okay, next piece is... I love banana. Banana. I love... I get first dibs on rubies. Oh, rubies. Okay. Let me grab the rubies. Yeah, let me grab the rubies. There, I have garnets and rubies. Now, guys, I don't know if you're aware of this, but rubies come in multiple colors. But the ones we are aware of are red. Usually that's like, you know, the birthstone for July, which is my, for me. Um, 
and I never liked the red. I like blue, pink, and sapphires come in that color, but so do rubies. I had no idea. Oh gosh, the peach is coming out. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh, that's Linda's. Okay. Where are the rubies? Come okay, here, my little pretty. Oh, here's one ruby ring. I have another one. It's really nice, but I don't know where I put it just yet. I think I put it in a tote. <sighs> Donna is eating a banana in the chat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we could be eating a banana in bed. <laughs> oh God, no, I didn't mean that. That's not what I meant. Oh God. You know what I mean, like physic. Oh, never mind. Alrighty, this is six and three quarters. I don't mean to be. I am not trying to be nasty. <laughs> Lori, do you have any ruby stuff? My daughter's yes birthday coming up. Yes. Oh gosh, red rubies. Okay. What size is she? <laughs> Hi, Diane. How are you? <laughs> oh, gosh. This is a six and three quarters. <laughs> so good. Um, <laughs> this is a six and three quarters. Let me take my ring off. Um, it's got two rubies and marcasite and... These are, these are really red rubies, like light red, they call them, but not like garnet red. Yeah, this is pretty. Six and three, wow, six and three quarters. Yeah, six and three quarters. Um, this is an older ring. I don't know if that's the wrong size. But we'll start this one off. Um, six and three quarters. Let me put it on my pinky. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> um, this one we're going to start off at 25, which is a really good deal for beautiful rubies like that. It's sterling silver. Yeah, it can. Okay, the only time you can't size a ring is when it's like um, stainless steel, for one. For two, um, I'm not crying, you're crying. Um, or when, if it's like an overlay of gold over, you know, um, hi Adam, we have Pat with 25. If it's like a gold ionized or overlay on the silver or, you know, that's the only time. So it can be sized. So we are at 25 with Pat. 27 with Lucinda. And I need to drink my water. All right, we've got 27 with Lucinda. Uh, she's probably more like me, nine or eight. Or okay, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go once to Lucinda. Out, okay. So Pat's out. <laughs> Going twice to Lucinda. Going three times to Lucinda. Fair warning. 
and sold to Lucinda. Thank you, Lucinda. Thank you so much. How are you, Adam? Adam, I text you because I wasn't sure if that was you who sent me a friend request, and I thought, I thought we are already friends on Facebook, I thought. I'm so paranoid when anyone sends me, like, a second request. Okay, Ruby, Marcosite, Ring, and Sterling. Uh, six... Uh. <laughs> more ruby stuff earrings um i do have rubies as um a stone a faceted stone i can show you and i have a ruby ring too and i i think i have a ruby tennis bracelet but i'm not excuse me i'm not sure about that one because my dad gave me a bunch of stuff but um I haven't actually gone through it, so let me go check in the pantry. That's where I keep my jewelry. More ruby stuff. Oh, I th at first, Susan, I thought you said more ugly stuff. <laughs> let me, I have to use the restroom, you guys. I drink a ton of water all day long. Mm, mm hmm Let me use the restroom, and I'll go grab it out of the pantry. Um... guys. Thank God I have a restroom downstairs. <laughs> All right, let me grab the ring. I'm coming. show it another time, but if it's not here, yeah, yeah, I can't find it right now, but I do have it, a couple ruby stuff, and if you want the faceted stones, hold on, let me grab that. Uh, did you remember to wash? Yes, of course. Are you kidding me? That's why I don't paint my nails because I'm such a germaphobe and I was a science major. So I am a habitual hand washer. So anytime I paint my nails, like the, they're chips already the next day. <laughs> I'm a total germaphobe. When you go into science, you get really paranoid because you know what happens. Ooh, yeah, there are rubies in here. My dad wrote it all out for me. 
Okay, these are loose stones. These are faceted stones. And I don't know if anyone's interested, but I'll bring them to auction too. I just want to look for a ruby here. Here's a, oh, here's a big one. Yeah, okay. Let me show this. If you guys aren't interested, it's okay. I just want to show you guys. So, <clears throat> you know my dad's a gemologist. Um, it kind of looks pink, but that's a raw ruby right there. And... Oh, wow. I'm such a germaphobe. I mean, it used to drive my... It drives my dad crazy, too. I always paint my toenails pink. Standard color, always hot pink, never changes. So when they grow out a little bit, I just touch it up. You eat and wash cucumbers. What? You can't do that. You're going to get, you know, um, what's that stuff called? They put on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't want to drop this because I just, when you open these things up, I, I don't have the right tongs to hold them, but this is a faceted um, raw ruby, and it is gorgeous. It's an oval, so I'm just going to show you. E. coli, <laughs> yeah. But this is a ruby. This is a big oval. <laughs> so this is the back end of it when you set it. I'm just giving you guys an idea. It doesn't mean, you know, did you complete the catio? No, I haven't yet, but I, I kind of needed my dad's help, and he can't really come over and help me because he's over 75, and I don't want him to get sick because both of my tenants are, um, you know, they deal with the public. One's a police officer, and the other one works in retail, so I don't want to expose them, you know what I mean? Okay, so I got a pass. So this is a very, yeah, it's like a pink raw ruby. Isn't that beautiful? Hi, Susan, how are you? <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny, um, Donna, when you put all this, those bracelets are beautiful, by the way. Um, I loved them. When you put them, <laughs> banana. <laughs> All right, let me close it back up. So I'm going to assume those aren't going to be very big at auction, so I'm not going to bring that. But look at all these stones. This is just like a tip of the iceberg what my dad has. We're going to close that back up. And then look, at there's another one. I'm good. I just, um, I had a lot to get done today. A lot of packages to get out. Ooh, look at these. So these are gorgeous. These are, um, African amethysts. Aren't they beautiful? And I'm just going to see if there's some rubies in here. Nope. There's garnets. Nope. No rubies. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's a garnet. Those are garnets. Okay, no rubies. I mean, the pink ones can be rubies, but I don't know, because um, I'd have to have my dad look at them, but we're going to pass. I know. This is nothing, you guys. This is nothing of what my dad has for gemstones. This is just the tip of the iceberg. And then there's one more. I just threw a bunch of these in this gem binder, but they're all scattered about. They're all faceted stones, all different stones. So I have to take them out and show you guys one by one because <clears throat> they are kind of pricey, but I, my dad is willing to sell them at a good price. I started taping them like, <laughs> okay, let's, let me take his notes. I don't want to, 
Okay, let's get back to... I'll find that ruby ring and the ruby bracelet. Um, I just want to show you guys the stuff that someone didn't pay me for. I think it's the same person, Donna, that didn't pay you. <laughs> um, I want to show you the native earrings. Where are they? Boy, did she buy a lot of stuff. Oh, here's that. Okay. Pay no attention to the chat. Okay. Proof she's your relative. <laughs> Gosh, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, these are all fashion. Okay, wait a minute. Are these... Oh, these are sterling. Okay, by the way, Pat, I sent you... Pat, if you're still here, I sent you these earrings, but they had double moonstone. So you could see these. They had two of the moonstone and only one of the crystal. And I did them in sterling, no extra charge. Or I didn't do them in sterling, my friend did. And so you got those instead. But um, your package didn't go out today because it was like $75. And I didn't know if you were okay with that. But I was only two ounces over. So, because poor little Pat lives in, in Singapore and her package has been delayed. So I've been trying to send her one package a week. <laughs> But anyways, we're going to sell these tonight. But the ones I sent you, Pat, have double moonstone and then the, the Austrian crystal. So these are set in sterling silver. They are moonstone and they are Austrian crystals. So it's all sterling from the pin that they put it on to the hook. And they are marked. I'm going to start these off at 15 yeah, no problem. Oh, they're beautiful. I think they're prettier on white. Let me show you on white. Oh, I guess it's actually, you could see it better on the black. Come on. It's so pretty. Aren't they gorgeous? Look how dreamy they are, like ocean, aqua. <laughs> Okay, if no one's interested, just say pass. Me too. I'm I'm a water baby, born in um, July, so I'm a Cancer on the cusp of a Leo. I am such a water baby. Doesn't have to be the ocean. It can be whatever, creek, <laughs> stream. A puddle. No, I'm just kidding. All right, we're going to pass on those. Boy, this bag is like endless. This person bought a lot for me, and then they didn't pay. So I hope they're okay. That's my main thing. But I wish she would have answered me back. Hmm. Then you like mermaids. Yes. I, my mom collected mermaids, actually. All right. These are native pieces. They are all sterling silver. Um, let me look it up because I wrote it down. They have coral in them. They have the bezel around them. It's sawtooth, which is vintage. My, oh, I just killed my laptop. Hold on. Let me plug it in. Let me plug it in. Um, my mom used to collect mermaids and we would go to Mexico all the time. And in Mexico and along the coast, they'd have a bunch of shells and mermaids. And she wanted to buy this big mermaid. And, um, oh, I wish she would have gotten it because it was just gorgeous. Okay, there we go. And my mom was obsessed with mermaids and miniatures. Okay, so this is, let's see, vintage Native American, where is it? Coral, oh, here we go. So, yeah, these are, 
We're going to start these off. <laughs> Tall girl. So these are pretty large shield earrings. And uh, they have like a, the sawtooth bezel. I don't know if you can see it, but it's um, jagged. So it kind of just goes like this. Do, 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 do. That's sawtooth. These are big shield earrings. They're kind of like, um, they're very indicative for, you know, Native American. They have the feathers coming down. They are vintage. They are Native pieces. I'm going to start these off at $30. Your eye is still swollen. Oh my gosh, what happened to your eyeballs? Or your eye? <laughs> and if no one's interested, just say pass. A little drinky poo in my water. Mmm. Mmm. I just spilled water down me. <laughs> All the way down. Oh my gosh. Hole in the lip. Yes. Oh, I hope you don't have pink eye. That's the worst. I've gotten that from my nephew. So from the tip of the shield to the other tip, it's uh, one and three quarters in length. And hmm, just over a half an uh, inch in, in the width, you you pass, but you like them. Okay. Aren't they pretty? Look at They're pretty. I like these. All right, we're going to pass on those. Do you guys want some fashion jewelry? Let's do some fashion jewelry. Wait, what's in here? Oh, yeah. That's pretty. Okay. one turned out they were dry needed drops to moisturize I know I my allergies are so bad here Adam he's doing really good um he started scratching at his ear where he had the surgery but um so I'm afraid to make an appointment because I really don't want to go but I'm gonna make it an appointment and they'll probably just take him to the back and you know assess him um he had a big polyp removed in his ear like that big and then he had one that was going from his ear inward to his uh, poor thing into his um, nasal cavity and throat it was awful so he's doing good but he's been scratching at the ear so I need to make an appointment for him it makes him paranoid they felt bruised dry eyes yeah um, I used to wear contacts and I don't anymore because they really dry my eyes out. I'm not going to wear contacts anymore. I'll go blind before I wear contacts. Alright, let's do some fashion jewelry because... I think that's fun. These are... They're called Arroyo Borealis. Um, they're in stainless steel. They're chandelier earrings. And they're in blue and clear. And when I say chandelier, you'll see why. Um, they're new. They come on a card. Aren't they pretty? We're going to start these off at five. Aren't they pretty? Those are five dollars starting off. Oh, I like these too. Okay. Anyone interested? If not, just give me a pass. Okay. <laughs> these are really well made. And they are stainless steel, so they're not going to tarnish. Isn't they pretty? 
Okay. You're distracting me from the bling, Susan. Shush your face. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. Okay. No one's interested in that. We'll just pass. I'm going to try to dig out the, um, oh, Tammy's in for five. Okay. All right. If no one else is interested, we're going to go, um, thank you, Tammy. Sorry, my, uh-oh, oh, there we go. Hi, Anna, how are you? Anna, or sorry, Jonathan's in at $6. Isn't that pretty? These are gorgeous. They're brand new. They are stainless steel. They are three-strand and Arroyo Borealis blue and clear stone. We got $6 with Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. Anyone else coming in at seven? We got Tammy at seven, Jonathan at eight. They are worth it too. How are you, Anna? <laughs> I do, I love blues too. Boy, do I wish my eyes were blue. My dad had beautiful, he has like blue eyes like that. Just, well, they're more aqua, my dad's eyes. My mom's eyes were green, greenish. <laughs> I'm good. I'm waiting till my tenant orders pizza. I'm going to have pizza for a very late night dinner. <laughs> I haven't had pizza in months. But I'm going to nuke it. It'll kill the virus. So let me show you one of them. We got Tammy in at 10. They're so pretty. Like these, I like chandelier earrings, especially if you have your hair up. Oh, it's so pretty. So whenever you see that I wrap them in a card, I put a plastic sheath over them too. So that they're nice and pretty if you want to give them as a gift. My heavies are blue too. Lucky mine are brown. <laughs> That's because you're full of <laughs> Susan. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go um, sold to Tammy at $10. Thank you, Tammy. I swear, I don't know, everything my mom had that was awesome, didn't get it. Everything my dad had that was bad, got it. Everything. I am I mean, really everything. Bunions. <laughs> Oh, God. But I wouldn't trade it for the world. All right, let me write down Tammy. Sorry, you guys. I just kind of spilled everything out because um, it's new stock and I had it in an envelope. Okay. Tammy, I'm going to say... Um, a, B, chandelier, earrings, stainless steel, was it 10? I think it was 10. Um, yeah, 10, okay. Oh, thank you, Jonathan. That's so nice. I really try. I really want you guys to have like a nice... Almost boutique experience. Sometimes things will begin a package that isn't boutique, but, you know, it is. It is what it is because sometimes I don't have the boxes for it. You got your mom's bad attitude. I love it. No, right now, and I mean it. Okay, let's see what else. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have that. That's really pretty. Shh. No, 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 no. Okay. This, I think, was a craft lot. Yeah, it was a craft lot. 
Um, let's see here. Hi, baby. Uh-oh. Um, let's see. So this one, it's chocked full of stuff. Yeah. Not everything is, um, is, um, craft in here. And I'll probably add a few more things. But there's Chico's in here. There's, um, stainless steel. Um, brand new stuff on cards. Um, so it's like, a, I would say half craft, craft half not. And I'm just going to show it to you. Hi, Becky. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, let's see. This is Chico's right here. Chico sells really nicely. Um, there's nothing wrong with these. These are stainless steel. They're little reindeer earrings. Um, these are new earrings. They're, I'm just going to start pulling some stuff out. I put everything in bags. There's nothing wrong with this. I just put it in here. It's a necklace that's got like faux rose quartz, you know. I'm going to start this one off at, um, 20 dollars so you can see there's nothing wrong with it um these are acrylic yeah these are acrylic beads i had to remember for a second and they are faux moonstone rose quartz really pretty there's nothing wrong with this most everything in here actually there's nothing wrong with it i just call it a craft lot um, in case there might be something, and there are some things which I'll show you. So hold on a second. Let's see. The, let's see here. So like this is an all glass bracelet. Yeah. Um, but there is a little chipping on this glass. I mean, you could still use, take it apart and use the beads. So there's chipping on a few of the glass beads and then there's this stainless steel little angel um, charm so that was like this ring it's all CZ's they look like dark blue sapphires but they're CZ's because I tested it they were set in stainless steel but sometimes stainless steel rings are um, have like a silver tone over Lay. So that's the ring. Isn't that pretty? But there is wear at right here. Right here. So that's, see that? That's wear. So it goes into the craft lot. Um, a lot of things are just fine. This is fine. Their metal. This is um, a Halloween necklace, and it, the battery still works. Actually, I don't remember how to turn it on, but it's a necklace that's in there. Hold on, I want to turn it on because I love Halloween. I I get so many kids, you guys. It's so competitive around here. Like everyone, um, if you don't decorate for Halloween, there's pressure put on you in the neighborhood. They'll leave like a little note. On your door or your or on your mailbox because we have the community mailbox you know okay here we go so it's like a strobe I'm gonna turn that off so there's that it's fine um, these are fine they're pearls and acrylic necklace these are fine I just put them in there um, these are, I think, stainless steel. They're fine. I just put them in there. These are brand new. I just put them in there. They're gold tone. Um, this is a pretty cross necklace. Um, this one was fine, too, actually. That's in there. Bead stretchy bracelet. 
These were fine, brand new. And then these were Jasper up here. And they're hibiscus little flowers. Kind of interesting. Dingle dangles. Okay. Um, these are Park Lane. And I can't remember if it's a necklace or earrings. But I, I try to label everything, you guys. These are vintage. They're Park Lane. And... Oh, it's a necklace. That's right. Oop. So it's like, it's kind of an 80. I think this is from the 80s. Maybe early 90s. Probably late 80s. It's a necklace. This is fine. I just put it in here. Park Lane. I just dropped a baggie. Um, let's see. This has, oh yeah, this is like a vintage... So this is kind of everything in this necklace. It's vintage. I can't remember if this was sterling findings. Uh, I'll have to look at it again, but I'm pretty sure, I can't remember. Um, this is, oh, I got it all tangled. But it's all a bunch of stones, quartzite. And I have it all tangled. Oh my god, I just made it worse. But it's got quartzite. Um, what else? Agate. It's totally tangled, but I'll un oh here we go. It's almost all untangled. It's a three strand. It is vintage. It might be sterling. I actually didn't test and I'll have to look. But I had just tangled it so. Um it is Quartzite, clear, but they dyed it aqua, tiger's eye, agate, clear quartzite, bunch of stuff. That's in there. It's just tangled. And I don't remember if this was sterling or not. The <laughs> sterling findings. Um, hmm. I'm going to say no. I'm not going to even test it. Okay, then we have, oh my gosh, there's a lot in here. It's a, quite a bit, that's Chico's. It's an enameled um, wax leather piece. There's so much in here, you guys. I mean, hi Jennifer, welcome back. So we're starting this off at 25. These are new. It's a craft lot, but there's a lot that is not craft, basically. Like a lot of it. That Park Lane necklace. I need to find the baggie. I just took it out. These are new. These are fine. These are fine. These are fine. Actually, this bag is like growing. Okay, we're passing with Susan. Thank you. Uh, let's see, what else? Jasper, silver tone. This is stainless steel. We got 25 with Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer, I need to send your package out. It's, yeah, it's time. I'm so sorry. Let me put this back in here because this is Park Lane. There's nothing wrong with it, but I just put it in here. It's mainly not craft lot, but I'm just saying it's a craft lot. That's Park Lane. Okay. I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, God. How did your daughter do today? I'm just curious because I know that she, you know, had to do what she had to do. And which was sad to me because I'm still mourning over my dog and my dad's cat. Yeah, tough. Ugh. Makes me cry. All right. I'm going to sell this to Jennifer. It doesn't seem like anyone else is interested. We're going to do 25 
on this big craft lot, but mainly not craft lot, to Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Let me write that down. Let's see. Jennifer Craft Lot 25. Thank you so much. Okay, and these are Tammy's. I want to. There we go. Okay. What do you guys want to see? Oh, Jonathan, too late. I didn't see that. I have other craft lots, so. So, let's see. I think there's another one in here, actually. Yep. Here's another craft lot. Um, oh, boy. This is, yeah, it's just pretty packed. So, this one... I'm going to start, okay, I'm going to start this one off a little less because I, I will definitely add to it, um, but there are, and there are things are, that are fine in here like wood bracelets, um, this is vintage wood hishi beads and coconut shell. So these are hishi beads, guys. <laughs> It's a double strand, sorry. Hey! Shh! 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 That makes me and Brian's up. Did you order it? Shh! Okay, thank you. Shh! Shh! Come here, come here. No, no bark, no bark. So that's coconut shell, and that is like typical when you see that like scratching serration in it. It's got a three strand. <laughs> um, we got wood beads here. This is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that it's vintage. I'm putting it in there. No, be nice. There's nothing on the floor. There is? You guys know. Okay, then there's this vintage necklace. Oh. <laughs> it's amazing that they still deliver pizza this late. What time is it? It's 11.30 here. Hey, zip it. I'm going to get spanking. I can't control him. I just can't. Sorry, you guys. He's just... He hates Brian. He hates Brian. Um, all right, we're going to start this one off at 10. That's like less than a dollar each. This one's fine. Hey. You want to get a spanking? Right now. Get over here. Right now. You want a spanking? You better stop. And I mean it. These are glass beads in the shh, faux potato pearl. And there's nothing wrong with this. Hey, zip it. Actually, there's nothing wrong with this. It's just vintage. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, God. Okay, there's that. There's this necklace. Well, how does this go again? Oh, like this. Um, let's see, is there any wear on this? No, no wear on this one either. Has an extension. That's going in there. We got 10 with Becky. And this one's vintage. Very vintage. Um, you could tell by it's like leather, but it also has those connectors. And these are wood vintage beads. They're pretty big. All the different colors. Now this is a craft piece. This is missing the whatever you want to put in there. Cabochon and one rhinestone. Or you could take all the rhinestones out and put just a cabochon. That would make a really pretty pendant. It's stainless steel. Um, I don't know where they're at. 
There's, um, like, paper towels, like, napkins in there. Do you see any? Somewhere? Huh? Yeah. Let me see. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Does it look like picnic tables? No. No. Um, okay, let me... Hold on, guys. Let me go get some paper towels. I hide them from everyone. Because they're like gold. You can get your own, then. Well, I pay for them eventually. Anyways, um, there's nothing wrong with this either. It's just vintage. There's glass, um, metal beads. That's pretty. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just going into the craft box. This, I think it's a 20 inch seed bead braided necklace. Oh no, it's like a 30, 42 inch. Nothing wrong. That's going in there. So that, that, that. These are glass beads in pearl. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with this necklace either. Nothing wrong with this one. Coconut and Hishi beads and wood. This is a craft piece. Stainless steel. This is a vintage necklace. Um, nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong. Oop. So we have $10 with Becky. Anyone else? Alright, no one else. We're going to go once to Becky. Going twice to Becky. Going three times to Becky. There's actually a lot in here. And sold to Becky. Thank you, Becky. I get to put it all back in here. <laughs> Thanks, Becky. Hold on, let me put some of this back in here because I don't want it to get tangled. Okay. I'm going to add a couple more things in here, too. Great deal. That's really pretty. Let me put this in. Yeah, here. pizza here which is exciting thank you Becky I tried to do my best and put everything nicely packaged and nice stuff <laughs> mm. all right so I have God, my lips are so dry you guys pardon me um, what, what do you guys want to see vintage new Sorry, my lips are so darn dry. 
Let's do um, new fashion earrings real quick. Um, we're going to start these off at $3. They are gunmetal gray. Um, I think they're stainless steel. Let me double check. Hold on. Oh, all these gemstones are... <laughs> Here it is. Thank you. Thanks, Doris. Oh, that's right. You bought my lots before. These are stainless steel, you guys, and they're beautiful um, filigree type gunmetal gray with these pretty little stones. We're going to start these off at $3. Thank you, Doris. It's so good to see you here. We got Susan at three. Anyone else? If not, we're going to move this along. They're stainless steel, little aqua colored gemstones, kind of chandelier like. We got Jonathan at four. Really pretty. At least you know with stainless steel, it's not going to turn. Uh, Susan, are you in? They're pretty. They're dreamy. Actually, that's the color of my dad's eyes. Five with Susan. Yeah, aren't they pretty? I did put new silicone backs on them. Also, just because. We got six with Jonathan. All right, I'm going to, okay, Susan's out. We are going once, going twice, going three times, fair warning, and sold to Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. We're $6. I'm going to call them, um, let's call them. Stainless steel, gun, metal, gray, aqua, <laughs> earrings. Okay, thank you so much. Those were nice. Those were new, too. Thank you. Thank you. Um, they look like the color of your eyes, too, Kimmy. You have really pretty eyes. I love, um, I love light color eyes. Um, but I love dark eyes, too, with, like, dark hair. I like green eyes with dark hair. I, just, I think eyes are so pretty. Okay. We're going to go with a vintage piece. And I have to look this one up because it's on my spreadsheet. So if you, see, if you hear my laptop. <laughs> okay, this is... Oh, here we go. All right, this is a vintage Native American coral and sterling silver cuff. I think you were bidding on this also, um, Jonathan. It is marked AT as a hallmark and sterling. So that's, I don't remember his name, but he's Native American. And, um, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> You're crazy, woman. No, never. I think brown eyes are more, um, you know, average. And then green eyes are probably the rarest. And my mom had green eyes. But she didn't have like that green, yellow green eyes. It was more of like a green, darker green with the yellow accents in it. So this is the cuff. It's Native American. Um, now this one may have been Zuni, and you can see the crescents, they're all embossed all around the cuff. Then you have the Native American stars there, and it's set in a beautiful, that coral set in a beautiful bezel with the rope design around it. It is a cuff, it is hallmarked, it is vintage. Um, here is the hallmark there, AT and Sterling. 
I'm going to start this one off at $65, and it's all thick silver, as you can see. Looks like a C <laughs> with the coral. Um, $65, and what else can I tell you about it? It is, yeah, Hallmark AT. Yeah. Yeah. Just like Banana would say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't help but do that. Hi, Ronnie G. How are you? <laughs> yeah. I like the, um, the, the sound that the turtle makes. We got 66 with Jonathan. Looking for 68. We got the half crescents. Isn't that pretty? 67, 68. Yeah. Banana. I can't stop but saying all these things. It's so addicting, isn't it? I know, isn't it gorgeous? And that, um, I can't, it's Alvin something, and I don't remember his last name. I'm so sorry. 70 with Ronnie G, 71 with Jonathan. And these are the embossed um, crescent moons. And it has the oxidation of the silver. And then you have the Native American stars. They kind of look like, Almost like a Star of David, but they have two more peaks to them. So they're really like a little mountain of a star. 75 with Ronnie G. And then, okay, you can see the smooth bezel around the coral. Oh, there's Tuxy Girl. Look at her. 76 with Jonathan. Girl, get away from my coffee. And then it's braided all around that bezel. Yeah, isn't it pretty? Girl, get down. Tuxie. She doesn't listen to me. Wait, where's my ruler? Sorry, hold on, you guys. I don't want her up there. <laughs> so, by uh, where did we leave off? You love it. Thank I love it, too. Now, my dad got this um, in Nevada. A lot of his jewelry is from Nevada, so it's a lot of native work up there. So we have Nate or Jonathan at 60, 76, and Ronnie, you're out. Okay, we're going to sell it. Going once, going twice. Oh, back in at 80. Okay, so she's back in at 80. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the stars. 81 with Jonathan. This you guys can sell for a lot more if you want to, especially because it's hallmarked. Sometimes native work isn't hallmarked though, but that doesn't mean it's not worth anything. It is. Look at the stars. All right, we got 81 with um, Jonathan. Who should be in bed? <laughs> oh, Jonathan. All right, so we got 81 with Jonathan. We're going once to Jonathan. Going twice to Jonathan, three times to Jonathan. I know it is a keeper. Fair warning. It's gorgeous. It's too big for me, but I like it. And sold to Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. I love it too. I love it. I really do. All right, uh, native. Coral, Sterling, A.T. Cuff, 81. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alvin Benke? No, it's A.T. as in Tom. Who's T? I don't remember. Gosh, I wish, I wish I'd wrote it down. I thought I would. Thank you. Second glass of wine. Sleep should come soon. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wine knocks me out. Forget it. If I have some wine or alcohol, over with. Well, not necessarily, but I get pretty loopy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, alcohol makes me super happy. Um, loopy. That's why I try not to drink it because it really 
like sweetie loopy <laughs> all right this is brand new um this is let's see i have to look it up on the spreadsheet it is new it's 14 karat gold ionized over stainless steel that part i know it's an owl ring i'll measure it in a second yeah with austrian crystals it's a size eight size eight look at his little feet isn't that cute all Aust they're clear austrian crystals for his bodice and his with a little peaks and then around his eyes are like um champagne colored and this is a size eight it's brand new 14 karat ionized it won't rub off over stainless we're gonna start this one at 15 dollars Look at his little feet. Isn't that cute? He's so cute. Yeah, I, you know what? Um, Alvin Thompson. Yes, thank you, Francis. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Or it could be Tadatsheen. Yeah, it could, it could be one of the two, actually. I'd have to look it up in our native book, but I'm not really sure. And my dad has our native book. So I, I I can't go visit him. Um, isn't that pretty though? So yeah, I went to the town of Tequila in Mexico, and you can try all the tequila you want for free. But I don't like I don't like tequila. I don't really I don't like hard alcohol. I really don't like to drink that much at all. Isn't that pretty? $15 to start, guys. It's a size 8. Isn't that cute? Brand new. Austrian crystals. 14 karat gold. Ionized over stainless. If you are not interested, hit pass. <laughs> Listen. Oh, I don't know if about that. I will get sick on tequila. I just can't do tequila. And the agave plant, plant is so beautiful. Margarita. Well, there's a margar you know, in the margarita they have uh, tequila. There's only two flavors I like. Mango and um, prickly pear. And that's it. Anything else I don't like. And I really, I'm just not into margaritas. All right, we're going to pass on this. Give me a pass, guys. Just type out pass if you're not interested. Okay. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I guess I get just too lupified. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> so I'm a lightweight. So Kimmy said she was a lightweight. Okay, we got past. Um, prickly pear is yeah, it's so good. That's um, they're called cactus tunas, and you can eat them as a fruit. That's a prickly pear, so good. Oh my gosh, my dad has some in his yard still, and we eat the the fruit. They're so good. I just don't like tequila. Ugh. It has a weird taste. I don't know. Ugh. All right, so that was that. Let's see what we have in here. But in Italy, we would try all kinds of stuff. I am yeah, too. <laughs> I'm a cheap date. <laughs> I just don't like being out of control. Okay. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, okay, there's five strands of seed bead in the oatmeal color, which I like oatmeal color. Um, it's a coconut shell with, a. Uh, oh, what is that called? It's a shell, not Amazonite, um, hold on, I gotta look it up, I think I wrote it down. Uh, no, 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 coconut seed bead, where is it? Okay, it is, uh, uh, okay, yeah, where is it? Hold on, 
on, girl. Um, Ammonite. I always want to say Amazonite. Amazonite. But it's Ammonite. A-M-N-O-N-I-T-E. Ammonite. It's fossilized shell, specifically in this shape that I'm about to show you. It kind of looks like a swirl. Um, at my dinosaur age. <laughs> so I need to put my email um, in the chat. Francis, can you do that for me? And that way you guys can um, text or email me. Pardon me. Lose control. Yeah, no, I've lost control before. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I can only drink really nice and smooth tequilas, but the price for the good stuff is out of control right now. As Yeah, okay. Yeah, nothing is ever in control. I can't afford to lose anymore. <laughs> okay, this one is Ammonite. I always forget the name of this. We're going to go, we're going to start this off at $4. It's a coconut shell. They carve and they put an Ammonite shell, fossilized shell in the middle. And it has, it's a one, two, three, five strand seed bead. I love the colors. I love oatmeal color. I like white too. Like I'm wearing white tonight, but white doesn't look so great on me. But I still like to wear it. Oatmeal is a little bit better on me, but you can see this ammonite shell. So coconut shell will always have like these little scratches in it. That's just the natural state of the coconut shell. But that shell in the middle is called ammonite. It's fossilized. I'm going to turn it over. You can see it's pretty thick, the ammonite, the shell. It has uh, one, two, three, four little rings around the base. And it has a nice wood, probably coconut shell um, button for the, you know, the closure. This is going to be $4.00. Starting off, uh, let's see, I've had one fear so far in 2020. Oh, that's it, that's pretty good. Um, I'm waiting for the next one to be when I finally get to go fishing, something about fishing and beer. I've always gone together. I, I would love to go fishing, but I can't, I can't kill the fish. <laughs> Susan. All right, if no one's interested in this piece, the ammonite with the coconut shell and the seed beads, we're going to pass. Four dollars. Go together. Yeah. I like um, Mexican beer with uh, Mexican food sometimes. That, that's good. Sierra, be quiet. She's such a squawker. All right, this next piece is Monet, <clears throat> which I think it's stainless steel. Yeah, stainless all the way around. Oh, we have um, Becky at $4. I'm just going to sell it to you, Becky. We're at $4. It's nice and chunky. It's pretty. I like that. Thank you, Becky. We're going to put that over there. We'll show this one here in a sec. Okay, Becky. Um, what should we call it? Seed. Bead. Coconut shell. Ammonite. Ammonite. Necklace. Four dollars. Thank you so much. It's pretty. Perfect for spring and summer, you know. This next one is a Monet piece, and it is, let's see. Um, oh, where did I write it on my spreadsheet? Let's see. Here we go. It's a twisted bib bar necklace, and um, I'm going to start this off at five dollars. It is Hallmark. Monet, and it has a tag on the back. Let me put it on 
Let me put it on this one. I think you can see it better on the oatmeal colored mannequin. Very classic, excellent condition. It's Monet. It's a twisted bib bar. Stainless steel and gold. And the chain, all stainless steel. And I'm going to start this one off at $5. Good night, Becky. Let's see, what did she say? Oh, my days are blending. I know, my days are blending together, too. I don't remember what I do from one day to the next. I have to make my, like, make notes. This is a little hang tag that says um, Monet. In there, right there. Um, it's very thick. It's beautiful. It's a vintage piece. The length is, good question. So I'm going to have to measure it kind of funky. It's at least a 16 inch. So I'm going to say 16 inch just to be on the safe side, but it could be a smidge longer. We'll say 16 inch. What's CRS disease? Coronavirus? Hi, Connie. How are you? Oh, Connie's another one I need to still invoice. <laughs> um, $5, guys, if anyone's interested. 16 inch. Oh, it's okay, Linda. Can't remember. Oh. You've been better. I'm sorry, Connie. <laughs> My memory, I mean, each day just blends into the next. You know what I mean? And I'll say to my dad, I'm like, did I tell you this already? I can't remember. Not to ask Ronnie to decode. <laughs> All right, if we're going to, we'll pass on this. <laughs> um, $5 on the vintage Monet. It is all stainless steel, 16 inch, excellent condition. And that's Sarah. She's driving me crazy tonight. We're going to pass on this. Oh, girl. Okay, next piece. It is a long necklace. Thank you, guys. Thanks, because I like to move things pretty quickly, move through things quickly. Um, this is a long necklace. It's brand new. It looks like faux halite, but it's not. It's acrylic, just to let you know. Um, I like the metal because it's like a aqua color to it. I'll show you what I mean. Hold on. Yeah, it's all acrylic. So the beads are really nice. The leaves have that blue aqua embossing with coloring on it. It's pretty. It's a nice long necklace. It is in length, as I know some will ask, which they should, 12. Um, Twenty twenty one, twenty two inches. Yeah, twenty. Thank you. Uh, twenty two inches. It's brand new. It's acrylic and metal. Uh, let me see. I can't remember if it was. Yeah, silver tone, but brand new. I'm gonna show you guys like this, so you guys can kind of see. We'll start this one off at three dollars. Let me get close. Okay. So it gets longer. It's pretty long. $3 to start. Good night, Lucinda. It's beautiful. I like long necklaces myself. We got Connie at three. Isn't that pretty? It'd be great with like denim, white, oatmeal colored stuff, black. 
no one else is interested, we're going to count down for Connie, $3. We're going once. Going twice. All right, going three times. Fair warning, guys. And sold to Connie. Thank you, Connie. Hold on, I get it. I want to put it back so it doesn't get tangled. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, let me write that down, Connie. Um, I'm just going to call it faux halite. Silver tone, 19, 22 inch, no, that was 42 inch, I think, what was I thinking, necklace, $3, thank you, it's brand new, um, I, <laughs> look, Connie, I haven't even charged you for the last one yet, so I haven't even sent it, <laughs> I'm just kidding, thank <laughs> you. Thanks, Connie. <laughs> um, okay, next one. Connie's getting at a hand here. Gotta get her. Alright, so we have this next one. Now, this is brand new. It's old new stock. My dad's had it for about 15 years. Um, it is a native piece, but it's new. New native. Um, it's hammered sterling silver. Where's my... Hold on. Let me move these gemstones, because... I don't want them to fall over. Oh God, that would be a mess. Let me, let me shine this up. Hold on, where is my shiner? Okay, well, I'm not gonna be able to shine it. Oh, here we go, here we go. Hold on. Please hold. Oh, it's so pretty. It kind of reminds me of a tortoise shell. Anytime I see hammered um, silver like this, it has the smooth bezel all around. And it has the twisted rope all around that. And it's a big chunk of coral. And the back is marked 925. It's an open back on it. Okay, let me show you guys. Um, this one is, i got to read the... Let's see, where is it? Da -da -da -da. Where is coral? Hold on, let me go down on my spreadsheet. Oop. What did I do? Here we go. Okay, coral. Yeah, here we go. Okay, this one's gonna be. Uh, let's see, what did you guys say? Good night, Cammie. Thank you for coming in. You're so sweet. Love you. <laughs> Susan. You're like me, Susan. Because sometimes when I'm bidding, I'll say, Ding dong! Delivery. Pizza delivery. Cookie delivery. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Doris. I know, it's late. I came on late. I really did. Well, I'm going to put it on here, actually. I'm going to put it on the tag. And hang it. But it has a beautiful um, sterling silver big bail. So you can put a big necklace on it if you want. It's all hammered sterling silver coral. You can't get coral anymore. Yeah, ding dong. Thank you, Doris. You too. I'll measure this pendant in a second. But see how it's all hammered? Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to start this one off at $65. And let me show you the back. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I had coffee late too, you guys. That's my problem. I did a French press. You can see behind me. Gosh, it was so good though. Um, starting at 65, let me show you the back. This is new. 
that's the back. And it says 925 right there. You just woke up. Wait a minute, you just woke up for, for good? You mean, like in the morning? Look at that beautiful hammered work. That's a lot of work, too. Um, this is a coral, beautiful coral. This is an old piece of coral. It's a new piece, but old, you know what I mean? Um, it has braiding around the smooth bezel, and it has a nice big bail. So you can put a thick cable necklace or a Figaro link. And this is going for 65 If no one's interested, just say pass. Um, it's actually not a native piece. It's made to look like a native piece, but um, it's probably, this one was probably made in, let me look at my notes. Um, I think this one was made in Mexico. So it could very well be, because um, Native American would be South America and North America. But it's new, just so you know. New as in like 10, 15 years ago. The size. Hey, how are you, voluptuous locks? Oh my gosh, I haven't seen you forever. How are you? So good to see you. <laughs> okay. So I'm not going to measure the bail. I'm just going to measure the actual pendant part, okay? Um, it is one inch and one quarter. Just, just shy of one inch and a quarter. Just a smidge shy. With the bail, oops, hold on. It is... Uh, one and three quarters. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, gosh. You got to watch for my um, my backyard remake. I'm working on it. I've been working hard on it. I've been cleaning my fountain, repairing the gazebo roof, pulling weeds, growing a garden. <laughs> so I did the first um, video, and I just haven't done an update, but... It's still looking a little bit hairy. So across is an inch and, hold on, let me do it this way. One inch and like an eighth. Thank you, and I finished my floors in my living room. I'm starting on my family room next. All right, guys, if there's no interest in this, we'll pass. $65, you guys can triple this. Um, because core you can't get. It's just, look how thick that is. Isn't that beautiful? And it's hammered. It looks like a tortoise shell to me. Anyway. We're going to pass, because no one's interested. But thank you... For looking at it, um, where did, here we go, we'll put it right there. Hold on, let me put it in a baggie because I don't like it to be loose. Might walk away. I just don't like when jewelry clanks against each other. I hate that. <laughs> oh, we have Tammy, sorry. We have Tammy at 65. If no one else is interested, oh my gosh, Tammy, if you get this, this is so worth it. Um, Tammy at 65, we're going once for Tammy, going twice to Tammy, you could sell this for more, or keep it. Oh, I have amethyst, I was going to show you Tammy, I'll show that in a second. Going three times for Tammy, it's beautiful, so you can kind of see against my hand, it's a nice size. And so, oops, sold to Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. It's gorgeous, really. Nice size. Thank you so much. Okay. Tammy, let me write that down. 
I love my new mannequin. I love that it's um, that oatmeal color. I'm so glad I got it. I had to wait outside for an hour to get it. Oh my gosh. I never shop at Michael's, but I, was, I thought I need it. Thank you so much, Tammy. I think you're going to love it. Ooh, especially if you got like a cable necklace. That would be really pretty. Uh, let's see. So it's... And that's nickel free. I need the new stuff from my dad is nickel free. Sterling, coral, oval, pendant. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Let me drink some water here. Okay. Let's see. What do I have here? <clears throat> Oh, yeah. I forgot these. Oh, yes. Okay. Clue detail. Yes, absolutely. So, if you guys are new from in buying from me, I always put... Let me see. Let me see if I have an example. Here we go. At the bottom of the box, okay, I always include like oops, all of the details you know what it is and what you bought it for it's always at the bottom or if like um, for some people who have bought a lot I will include the packing slip because I'm very detail oriented on my invoices so that will always come either in your package or I will put the um, like a little post-it note at the bottom, always, because I want you guys to know. Even when it's like a jewelry jar, I put everything in a package, and I label it what it is. Um, so just so you guys know, always, always, always. Now I have some vintage um, sh 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 brooches, if you guys are interested. Hey, 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 hey. Zip it. Or if you want to see, um, what was I supposed to show? Rubies. I got to find that because I do have some ruby pieces, but I have to go look for them. That's going to take a while. Um, oh, amethyst. Let me pull some amethyst pieces real quick. And, but, but in the meantime, let me show a couple of um, vintage pieces here. So this is actually a brooch. It's, it's so darn cute. It's a frog. Now animals sell really nice on eBay, Posh, uh, Macari. Uh, what's the other one? Um, Macari, Posh, Etsy. Um, this is a webbed aquatic. It's an. Pardon me. Ugh. I have, like, heartburn lately. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, it's an aquatic frog with rhinestones in it. It's so cute. I had um, an African, two African aquatic frogs. I had them for forever. It's a brooch. Now, I personally would wear this as a necklace. And I don't have a necklace here. Well, I do, but it's... I'm just going to show you what it would look like. Oh, that's not a necklace. Here's a necklace. I'm just going to show you guys. It can work really well. It's gold, so ignore the gold. It would look great as a necklace. I do that with a lot of my brooches because sometimes I don't want to put holes in my clothes or sometimes I just like it as a necklace. So I feed it through. Let me show you. Now, just keep in mind, this necklace is not the right color, but you get the idea. Oop, wrong way. Okay, that's how I wear my brooches sometimes. Isn't that cool? I just feed it through the back and I'll show you. Oh, isn't that cute? He's so cute. It's all stainless steel and rhinestones. And it's just a brooch. But see how I feed it through the back? It just hangs perfectly. Um, I'm going to start this one at 15. This is an older piece. 
I know, isn't he adorable? Let's do this one as a buy it now. The first person who would like it for 15, just say want for the brooch. How cute, he's so adorable. Um, I had my aquatic frogs for years. And then the last frog, poor little guy, he got um, bacteria. There was bacteria in the tank and he lost both of his arms. So he just had legs and he still survived. Poor little guy. All right, if no one's interested, we're going to move on. <laughs> Poor, so I was a marine biology um, major. So I thought I was going to be the next Jacques Cousteau. Nope. I was just going to be... I know, poor baby, huh? Good night, Ronnie G. Thank you so much. I'm going to... Um, let me put my email in the chat so you have it. So I can... I have your info. Do I? I don't know if I do or not. But just in case, let me put my email in the chat. It's just Creative Lori. Oh, Creative Lori to and then at gmail.com. Let me make sure I spelled that right. Yep. There you go. Thank you so much, Ronnie G. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. I think I'm on uh, Tease and Donatella's on the 21st. I can't wait because I have some stuff for that too. Okay, next one. This is a 1971 um, Sarah Coventry um, brooch. It's a, called the Shaggy Dog. And it sells for about $25 on eBay, Etsy, Posh. I am going to do this as a buy it now for $10. And it's Hallmark on the back. Sarah Coventry. It's Sarah Cove on the back. So the first person who would like it, either put $10 or want. Um, it's written... Oh, where is it written? It is written... Where is, oh, right here on the, the bum. <laughs> right there. I know you probably can't see it, but it's written upward. Okay. Thank you. So you can sell it for about 25 or more. I'm going to sell it for 10 It's vintage from 1971. And they only, I've only seen gold ones. It's super rare when you see the, the silver kind. So, good night, Lydia. Lydia, your package is going out soon, too. <laughs> All right, we're going to pass on this. But 1971 Sarah Coventry. Super cute. Next one is... I'm going to show this one. I will show that one too. I'm so tempted to have a piece of pizza. But I won't eat it unless I um, nuke it. So this one is Hallmark. And I forgot what it was Hallmark. Oh, we have Lydia at 10. All right, thank you, Lydia. I can't read it. I couldn't read it, read it last time either. It's, um, I think it has like, um, what's it called? Serial number after the name, but I just can't make it out. All right, let me write the shaggy dog. Hold on one second. Lydia. Uh, Sarah Cub Shaggy Dog Brooch. Ten. Thank you so much, Lydia. Where'd I put him? He's right here. Okay. Thank you. It is cute. <laughs> Thank you. I don't, I can't make out the back. I kind of thought this was uh, 14 karat, but I did not check it. It has enameling on the front. Or is it 10 carat? So 
says something ENC 1996, I think, but I can't read the first part of it. I just can't. It's an enamel um, bunny, and it's actually a pendant, and it has rhinestone eyes, so it's enameling, stainless steel. I thought it was 10 karat, but uh, I'm going to say it's not, just to be on the safe side. It is enamel, rhinestone earrings. Look at those big ears. It is a pendant. Here is the markings. It says 1996 something something before that. Um, this one is going to go for, let's see, what did I write down? Uh, I want to start it off at... Here we go. Yeah, I couldn't tell if it was 1965 or 19... I think it said 1965, and I think it said Hollister. We're going to start this one off at um, $8. I think it does say Hollister ENT either 1985 or 19... 95? I just can't read it. It's too... My eyes are not that great. And if you guys are not interested, starting at 8, just say pass. It's a little pendant, enameled. It's homework. And... <laughs> trying to... Okay, we're going to say pass on this one. I'm going to go pass. All right. Next thing is, let's see what show it is. This is a vintage um, double heart rhinestone and stainless steel. It's actually more, yeah, I would say vintage. Um, let me put it on the mannequin. Um, it's vintage, and I'll tell you why I know that, even though it's not marked. Come on. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, <laughs> let's hope this works. All right, we have uh, Francis in at 8 for the bunny. And I don't think anyone else was interested, so we're going to go sold to Francis. Thank you, Francis. I'll write that down. Well, let me put this on here real quick. Okay, that's not working. So, um, Francis. Eight dollars. Um, Thank you so much, Francis. It is cute, huh? Okay, this is a vintage brooch. And how you can tell, so here's the back, and I don't know if you can see, but the pokey part comes beyond the where you um, secure it. Okay. It's rhinestones. It's a double heart. We're going to start this one off at... What did I write down? We're going to start this one off at $10. If anyone's interested. It's pretty... Um, oh my gosh, these sleeves are ridiculous. Uh, the length is... Two and over a quarter. The width is one and three quarters. It's beautiful. And I'm going to put it on the mannequin like so. It's 
going to be a little crooked. Hold on. Isn't that pretty? That's so beautiful. It's stainless steel and rhinestone. It's old in excellent shape. There's no dead rhinestones. Double heart. Um, it's stainless steel on the back. Most, anytime you find um, brooches, most of the time, if they're good quality, like Napier, Monet, older ones, they're going to be stainless. So, see how it doesn't stick? Excellent shape. Thank you, Jonathan. He's in at 11. I'll put it back on here. It's a pretty good size. Isn't that gorgeous? It's more on the verge of antique. <laughs> um, go on once to Jonathan. Going twice to Jonathan. Uh oh, it's gonna fall. Uh oh, it fell. Going three times to Jonathan. Fair warning, guys. And sold to Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put it in the baggie. Alrighty. Jonathan, 11, thank you so much. Stainless steel, vintage, rhinestone, double heart, brooch. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you could also wear it as, um, I would wear that as a pendant. <laughs> that would be perfect as a pendant. Hold on. i got to tie these darn sleeves. See, this is why I never wore this to work. Okay. <clears throat> Do you guys want to see a couple more brooches? I'm, let me show this necklace. This is brand new. It is... Stainless steel, the pendant part, and then um, silver tone in an overlay of rose gold. And it has like a hallmark, but I could never make it out. Oh, L. E L L E. Like the magazine. And it has rhinestones. It's so pretty. So the pokey parts that I'm about to show you are stainless, and then the chain is silver tone. We're going to start this one off at $5. It is brand new. Hopefully you can see the rhinestones that are on the sticks. It's rose gold. It does have the little chain there it says L with like a little crystal yep little glass bead there we're gonna start this one at five it's so pretty I'm gonna bring it up a little bit isn't that pretty oh Tammy it's only five it's starting at five Are you talking about this one? Okay, there we go. So starting this one off at five. This one is backwards. Hold on, this one's upside down. Oop. There we go. Five dollars. Thank you, Tammy. All right, if there's no other interest, we're going to go once to Tammy. Um, is, uh, if I had to measure it, 20 inch, brand new by L. And let me bring it up so you can see it a little better. With the rhinestones, going twice to Tammy. 
All right, going three times. And for a warning, guys, soul to Tammy. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. Uh, let's see, let's put it in here. Okay, thank you so much. Tammy. No. My poor, my poor tenants. The puppy barks at all of them. Okay, L. Hey! Get over here right now. You're going to get a spanking. You heard me. Yes, sir. You want a spanking? <laughs> I wouldn't. I don't spank them. Come here. Come here, baby doll. You need to stop being such a goose, okay? Look at, say hello to everybody. You're so gorgeous, baby. Why are you so gorgeous? Look at your, oh. Wow, your breath kind of stinks, you know, a little bit, a little stinky. Babysito, you're so cute, baby. Cute. His name is good looking because he's so good looking. Look at him. Look. Oh, he's so good looking. Look at him. You're so bad, though. You're really bad. Oh, dear. Yeah, you're, oh, buddy, your breath stinks like kibble. Sorry, you're going down. He knows, he does know it too. <laughs> okay, these are brand new earrings by Charter Club, which is a Macy's brand, because I used to work for Macy's. I put myself through um, college as a makeup artist through at Macy's. And these are hypoallergenic. They were $16 to start. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Um, it still has... <coughs> Shh! Hey, that's it. You're in trouble right now, mister. Where did I... Here we go. Um, <laughs> Shh! He's just not going to stop. <laughs> They're in gold tone, and they are taupe and pink. Like that rosy pink. Um, I'm going to start these off at $3. They are Charter Club, brand new. Still have the card. He thinks he's so bad, you know. <laughs> he's so terrible. Aren't, they, aren't these, I wish big earrings would come back in. I like big earrings. Let's see, you give your dog screen shoes that are in the shape of toothbrushes. Oh, I ha I used to buy those too. It's not so much stinky. It's just like I could tell he just ate kibble. You know what I mean? Because he's still a young dog. So his breath hasn't gotten stinky. Oh, wait, this, I forgot, this goes in the craft lot. Hold on, what the heck? But yeah, no one. My little um, Chihuahua, she has really stinky breath. <laughs> Good night, Susan. Thank you so much. I hope you like your surprise in your package. All right, we're gonna pass on these because I don't think anyone's interested. I have. Let's go with some more earrings, and we'll do brooches later. Um. Does anyone want to see some, anything specific? Oh, my hair is a mess. I needed to go shopping today, and I didn't have time to. I had to go to the post office. I had two internationals to do. I had to take one back. I had packages. I'm, um, it's been a lot. <laughs> Good night, Susan. Thank you so much. <laughs> Poor Susan. I thought she ordered these earrings, and actually Jonathan did, and so I thought both of them did. And I made her wait for nothing. <laughs> Poor Susan. I gave her a pair of earrings. 
Um, yes, silver necklaces, dainty ones, and old pawn rings. Yes, I do. Yes. Let me grab some more water because I'm just about out. Um, I have, let me think here. I have old silver necklaces too. I think I might bring that to auction. But I might preview it just so you guys can get an idea and research it. So let me, oh, I love this necklace. It's so pretty. I love it. With my little brick. <laughs> I'm such a dork. All right, let me go, let me go get some more water and grab the old pond. Um, oh, oh, I have an old pond uh, copper bracelet. I was going to bring that to, pardon me, um, to the auction. But if you guys are interested, I'll bring that out too. Okay, let me grab the old pond. <clears throat> I keep it in a safe place. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I drink a lot of water. I love water. Um, and I love coconut water. I had some coconut water earlier, too. Okay, any old pine silver necklaces dainty. Okay, yes. Oh, yes, Connie. I have one. Uh, it's right over here. Okay, hold on one second. So, I got that. I'll show you. That's so pretty. I'll show that. Oh, here's a ruby. Darn it. And Susan went to bed, huh? Okay, so I'll wait to show that. What'd you say? Did you find the, the Pellegrino Black Cherry? Did you find the Pellegrino Black Cherry? It has pomegranate too. Oh, no, I did not. The drink you mean? No. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna wait on that one. <laughs> oh, I'll have to wait on that too. Okay. Let's 
see. Ooh, I was going to wait for this to auction. I think I will because I want people to do a little research on it. Okay. Um, well, I guess I could show it. I'll show it. All right, I'm going to show the old pawn. It's amazing. Um, I almost sold it by accident. I thought it was something else. I'm so glad it, something clicked in me and I thought, oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Um, I do have more rings, but I don't know where I put them. They're, they're here somewhere. But I'm just going to show you the old pawn um, bracelet. Okay, this is an old pawn bracelet. It's a men's copper bracelet. Um, it has a, li a lot of nice patina on it. It's super thick. It's super heavy. Isn't that beautiful? It's old pawn, so it's very old. <laughs> Um, it's probably from the late 30s, early 40s, and it is one continual piece of copper. So you can see it goes all the way around and loops back, and they, isn't that gorgeous? I know, huh? It's beautiful. What does it say? Uh, it's so good, Laura, you need to try it. I will, because I love flavored, um... Uh, carbonated water like that. So good. I don't like sodas. I mean, I will drink a soda every now and then, but so you can actually see through this piece. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Well, I can. You can see through it, but that's the patina in between. This is Old Pond. It is a native piece. This is very heavy, and you could sell it for quite a bit. But my dad did not want to let this go. I'm going to start this off in auction. I was going to save it for T's auction, but um, this one is going to start at one fifteen. If you are interested, anyone, one fifteen. It is old pawn. It does have a beautiful copper patina on it. It's a men's. It's too big for me. But, and I have a kind of a larger wrist, but it is too big for me. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, yeah, definitely. Pat. All right, I'm going to pass on this. I'm going to bring it to auction. Um, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. As Banana would say, yeah. <laughs> okay, we have Jonathan at 115. Anyone else? Okay, I don't think anyone else has come in. Don't you just love Banana? Banana, yeah. I like how she says, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Connie. So, Old Pawn means... Um, a lot of the Native Americans would make their jewelry, right? They would not stamp it because um, a lot of them were not registered. They didn't want to be registered. And a lot of them, um, they wouldn't stamp it because they wouldn't want the government to track their sales because they would take a percentage of it. So when they were desperate, they would sell this, and it's called Old Pawn, um, because they needed money, and they would sell it for so cheap, the Native Americans. So that is a little history on Old Pawn. Now, you can clean up the copper, but the patina is part of it, you know. This is so thick. I, I'm going to um, weigh it for you guys, but um, so give me a second. So that's just the story of Old Pawn. It's kind of a sad story, but it's worth a lot. Oh my gosh. Hey, zip it. You want a spanking? You're going to get a spanking. 
Hi, Manji. Manji's in at 120. Okay, hold on. Let me weigh it, okay, guys? see we got uh, where are we at 121 125 <laughs> Jonathan's like I thought you were asleep actually I know Manji likes this piece <laughs> and we talked about it this is 126 with Jonathan okay I think just the two of you are interested how are you, Manji? You're up late like me. So Manji's in Canada, but we are on the same time zone because she's right above Washington State. In, uh, what's your area called again? Um, what is it called? Uh, I can't remember. 130 with Manji. Um... 131 with Jonathan. British Columbia. British Columbia, right? Don't it look like Devo? Wait. Devo. Do you guys remember Devo back in the early, early 8, no, late 70s, early 80s? I'm okay. Just uh, selling. <laughs> Just hanging in there. Jonathan's in at 131. Manji, do you want to come in at 133? Manji's at 132. Hey, buddy, be quiet. All right. We're going to go at $5 increments, you guys, after this. Okay, after Jonathan's at 133. So, Manji, either come in at 138. Let's see. Yep, I have some old album. That's so cool, Connie. Oh, this is pretty heavy, you guys. So it's worth quite a bit. You could triple your money probably on it. I don't list anymore on eBay. But if I have to, I will. Or I'll bring it to auction. That's what I do. All right, so we're going to go once... To Jonathan, whip it good, <laughs> yeah. Um, once to Jonathan at 133. Oh, we got 140 with Manji. Manji's in love with it, I know it. <laughs> we got 140 with Manji. We got 145 with Jonathan. Isn't that pretty? So that's just the history of Old Pond. Um, it's 2.2 ounces, and it's really kind of a sad story with the Native Americans for Old Pond, but it's bad for them. So I'm Choctaw and a little Cherokee, but um, it happened across the board with all Native Americans. That's just how it was. All right, we have 145 with Jonathan. I want to say Going once to Jonathan, going twice to Jonathan, Manji, are you in or are you out? Either say in or tell me your next bid, 150, or let me know if you're out. Going three times to Jonathan. All right, fair warning, Manji. Okay, Manji's out. We're going to say sold to Jonathan. Congratulations, Jonathan, because this would go for quite a bit more. <laughs> so congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Manji, for bidding. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. Jonathan. 
Jonathan Old Pawn Copper Bracelet. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see. Let me put it over here. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. This next piece is, um, gosh, I, um, it's a, oh, Matisse, Renoir Matisse piece. <laughs> that kind of rhymes. It is marked, hallmarked, um, right here. Let's see. What does it say? So it says one Renoir. It's Renoir Matisse. I know, Manji, you have the other one. It's copper, and that one you have is um, enamel. But this one is just all copper. And Renoir Matisse is probably one of my favorite um, designers because he was big in the 60s. Yes. So, Manji, you have a different one of this necklace, and they are hard to come by, but this one is all copper, and it is Hallmarked. Um, anyways, I'm going to start this one off. What'd you say? <laughs> I'm not going to resell it, Lori. It's going to my collection, and I'll wear it proudly. It'd be great, too, like, you know, when we all get older, we get a little bit of um, arthritis. <laughs> so we have to wear copper. Now, for me, copper makes me itchy in my ears, so I can't wear copper earrings. I found that out. But I can wear necklaces, and I can wear a bracelet. I don't know why. I'm just really very sensitive, but this is Renoir Matisse. Um, Manji has the one that has enameling over it. He's a designer that made things for the stars, you know, celebrities. Isn't that beautiful? Um, it's marked right here on the back. It just says Renoir. I'm going to start this one off at 65. It's all copper. It's hand. He would um, write it in... Cursive. I love that. Renoir. Which, by the way, Renoir is one of my favorite artists. Along with Van Gogh. We have 65 with Jonathan. I know, isn't it gorgeous? Anyone else interested? It does have um, extra, like an extender in the back with a little teardrop. It's beautiful. All right, we're going to go once for 65 with Jonathan. He's going to make a killing on this one. I'm going twice. And Van Gogh also, yeah. Oh, Pat, that was part of what was going in your package was the Van Gogh book. Um, so it was really... <laughs> I was off by two ounces, and it was extremely expensive, and I thought, no, I better ask Pat. So I think I'm going to break it up in three or two. Simon Museum, Lori, they have a ton of Renoir. Or, oh, gosh, really? You know, I got to see the Van Gogh display in Italy. I was so happy. My sister was not, because I was like, I have to go watch this or go there. Going three times. And fair warning, guys. Sold to Jonathan. Thank you so much. I saw the Van Gogh exhibit. I was so excited. I'm still, like, giddy over it. I saw it in Italy, and that was so happy for me. <laughs> My sister was so annoyed with me. Thank you, Jonathan. She was so annoyed. I didn't care. Renoir. Matisse. Copper necklace of, you know, it's just not her thing, that's all. But she was so annoyed because I wanted to go see it. Thank you so much. Yes. Oh, Pat, I'm so sorry to go out today, but we'll I'll get it out by Monday. It was just was too expensive. And I didn't think you'd 
want to spend that much. I tried repacking it twice. Um, I think it's just it has heavier things. Hold on, I need to. Um, here we go. Is it? Thank you so much. Okay, uh, along the lines of copper. I have this now. Okay, Thunderbird is um, indicative for the Native Americans. And I bought too much stuff at one time. One, It's okay. No, it's fine. I'm not going to complain about you buying too much, Pat. <laughs> I just, you know, I'll send you, I, I wrote it all out. And then she's like, oh, you're over by two ounces. I was like, seriously? I was like, can't you just fudge on it? She goes, no, it'll get sent back. And I said, yeah, I know. I was so bummed out because I spent so much time in packing it up and making it look nice. <laughs> mm -mm. It's okay. It's my fault. I shouldn't, I, I, I should have split it up in two, honestly. I should have. But I was just happy to get it out, you know. <clears throat> so, Manji's in Canada. Pat is in Singapore, if anyone's interested. <laughs> But um, this is copper. It's the Thunderbird. It's a link bracelet. So this is a Native American piece. Um, did I show? I think did I show you guys this? I don't know if I did or not. It's the Thunderbird. And it has oxidized copper to show the design. So you can see that. Yeah, you're in LA. I'm in Southern or Northern California, right by Sacramento capital. So it's got a curvature. Hopefully you can see that the curvature to fit your, um, wrist, but look at the patina even on the back. Isn't that nice? You're in South Carolina. South Carolina is gorgeous, by the way. Ouch. All right, this one is all, um, isn't that beautiful? Let me weigh this because I forgot what it was. Hold up. Let me weigh it. It is, oh, 0.6 ounces, 0.6 ounces, and beautiful <laughs> let's see it's cool how we all become friends and we all are over the world how I know I know I'm so thankful for you too because I would never have met Pat I would never have met Manji or Connie or Francis or you or anybody Susan anyone else who's on I would not have met you so I'm so thankful um, this is a native piece. It's 0.6 ounces. I'm going to start this one off at 55. And if no one's interested, just tell me pass. <laughs> my little, my little nugget, she's crying. I'm going to go get her in a second. But it's the Native American Thunderbird Oxidized Copper. Now, a man or a woman can wear this. The length of it is, it is, um, that's a pretty good set. Now, you can take a link out if it's too big, but it is seven and a half. That's a good length. Seven and a half. We got Jonathan at 55. It's a beautiful native piece. Now, I am, I'm, I thought, what did my dad say? Hold on, I got to look at my notes. Hold on. We got 55 with Jonathan. Sorry. I always write notes down in a spreadsheet. Um, if anyone else is interested, let me just see if there's any other notes that I wrote down. Okay. 
Oh, it just had the ounces. Okay. So we've got Jonathan at 55. Anyone else? It's a beautiful link Thunderbird bracelet. Gorgeous. Native American. Flat clasp. Isn't it pretty? Oh, it's beautiful. You know, I say copper looks good on any skin tone. Whether you're fair skin, medium, or dark, it looks beautiful, actually, on all skin tones. Really nice. All right, we're going once to Jonathan. This is a great deal. Going twice to Jonathan. Going three times to Jonathan. Fair warning, guys. Oh, we got 60. Ooh, Manji, you snuck in there at the last minute. We got 60 with Manji. All right, then we got 65 with Jonathan. Okay, let's see. Um, we're going to go once to Jonathan. We're going to go twice to jo Okay, we got... All right, so at this point, we're going to go at least by $2 increments. So, Manji, do you want to go to 67 Because that way it'll go a little faster, too. Okay, so we got Jonathan at 67 So, Manji, do you want to go 69 All right, we're going to go once to Jonathan at 67 we're going to go twice to Jonathan. All right, we got 70 with Manji, then 72 with Jonathan. Okay, you guys are loving the copper. I don't blame you. These are rare pieces, so um, we're going to go once to Jonathan at 72. We're going to go twice to Jonathan at 72. We're going to go three times to Jonathan at 72. Manji, let me know if you're in or out, because I'm going to say, okay, so Manji's at 75, and Jonathan is out, so we are sold to Manji. Oops, thank you, Manji. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see, where did my bag go? Oh, here it is. Thank you, Manji. You're going to love it. Either you or your husband can wear it. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jonathan, for bidding. I feel like I am watching tennis. <laughs> Manji, when are you going to go live again? Manji. Thunderbird. <clears throat> Copper. 0.6 ounce bracelet of 75. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you guys, both of you. Jump on. <laughs> All right, next pair of copper things. Um, these are also Thunderbird. Now, these are old. These aren't vintage. These are antique. Okay, what'd you guys say? Manji, do you have a YouTube under the same name? Yes, she does. And she used to go live a lot, huh, Manji? And, um, and she used to do decor videos with me and other ladies. But, um, let's see. Oh, here it is. I think the last time I saw you live, Manji, was on your birthday. That's been a while. Oh, and Connie has a channel. I forgot. Sorry. Connie has a channel. She also does um, uh, decor and just other stuff, too. Her backyard and her cute little ant critters back there. You're too lazy. I haven't made videos for decor in a long time, but I've been working on my house, you know. It's been 
I've been really a busy bee. A year ago almost. Oh my gosh, when's your birthday, Manji? All right. These are um, antique. And these are super rare because for the age of them, it was rare that they had um, posts. July, that's right. You're a cancer like me. Um, so these are copper. They are vintage, or sorry, antique, antique. They are Native American, and they are the Thunderbirds. So they have um, embossing. Hey, get down, Sarah. Sarah, get down right now. They have embossing. Pull out, put out new content, yeah. <laughs> I know, Manji, you haven't been on forever. Um, these are the earrings. I'm just going to show you. I don't know if you can see the Thunderbirds. Oh, I think Connie, Connie, which one are you? I think they're both you, because I remember thinking that too. All right, so these are hydroglyphics of the Thunderbird, and then it has the reverse Thunderbird upside down, and then it has some um, the stairs and the diamonds. These are old, you guys. I don't even have the backs to them. But they are old copper hoops with the Thunderbirds. Aren't they? Oh, look at Aren't they gorgeous? I love copper. See, there's the upside down Thunderbird the stairs. But when you look at it this way, you, just, <laughs> you subscribe to both. <laughs> I know, it's like the safe bet, huh? So these are almost full hoops. They're very thick copper okay I will never have these ever again I mean these won't come by in a, like a lifetime I know she should huh they kind of do match actually pretty good I did not shine them up because sometimes people like the patina on them on copper and I don't want to shine them unless you know because if they do once you shine it, it's gone. And all those that year, all those years of the patina is gone. I'm gonna start these off at I'm gonna start these off. Sorry, I'm looking at my spreadsheet. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna start these off at 35, if anyone's interested. An old me and a new me. The old me only has a couple of videos and I haven't been feeling good and, um, uh-oh. Oops. My screen. Hold on, guys. Okay. If no one's interested, I'm going to pull these, but 35... Yeah, Jonathan, are you Hispanic or are you Spanish? Are you Hispanic or Spanish? Tu hablas español, señor? Mexican American. Okay. Yeah. I figured your last name, but you know, it could have been also Spanish. All right. If no one's interested, I'm going to put these aside. Oh, now see, now this bracelet's kind of itchy. I get itchy with, um, <laughs> I'm really sensitive with like even fashion jewelry, but I love it. I love this green. I love this necklace. I love it. I love it. I love the green with the black and Hold on, let me fix my collar. But this blouse is kind of a pain because of these darn sleeves. Let's see, I couldn't sleep, Lori. I have been listening, but I thought I would show some love. Oh, thank you, Barbie. <laughs> You're so sweet. I'm sorry you can't sleep. I can't sleep either. I'm like so off in my days, my times. I thought today was Thursday, and then I thought, okay, it's 
Friday. I had no idea, so I thought I gotta come on because I haven't been on for a while. Ugh, I'm so lost in time and days because I'm not going to work every day. It sucks, but it is what it is. <laughs> I, but you know what? I've been getting a lot done. A lot of projects done. In fact, my next project will be coloring my hair. I'm going to do it uh, kind of an auburn again. Like a light auburn. And then I'm going to do blonde highlights, which I have been wanting to do for, for a while. I, I just haven't done it because um, I've been busy. But I'm using all organic and cruelty-free hair color for it. All right, um, let's see. Thanks, Barbie, for coming on. <laughs> All right, this, now, if nobody wants this, it's totally fine because I'll just take it to auction because this is a pricey artisan piece. I didn't fully shine it, so I apologize, but I'm going to shine it real quick as much as I can. Um, it's Mexican silver. It's stamped sterling. And it says Mexico. Which, by the way, if anyone knows me, I love Mexican silver the most. Mexican, then Italian, then Thai, and Indian kind of Thai. Thai and Indian. And then um, Israeli silver is actually my new love of silver, too. They just make, they have beautiful artisan pieces, and their silver is really exquisite. Their mines in, in Israel are amazing. That's where a lot of stones come out of, too. All right, I'm just going to clean this really quickly. Now, I was not going to sell this <laughs> because I love it, but it is, you know, it's one of those pieces that, um... They are one in a million. I've had something similar, but nothing just like this. Um, I'm just sorry. I'm just shining it up a little bit. Okay. Oh, I love this. Now, this goes for quite a bit. Um, I don't think you can find it on eBay or Posh or Macari right now. No, thank you, Pat. It will be nice to get to know you better. Yes. Pat's so sweet. Well, all these ladies are. Pat, Barbie, Connie, Manji. They're all so sweet. Not as sweet as me. I'm just kidding. No, they are. <laughs> they're probably sweeter than me. <laughs> okay. So I just kind of shined it up a little bit. Just a little. Um, I... You guys, this piece is an amazing piece. I'm not sure of the stone that's the water jug, to be honest. I think it might be um, resin. Not resin. No, no, no. Sorry. What is that stuff called? I can't remember. I think it's a stone, but I'm not for sure. It's not resin. I said resin by mistake. But it is a carved water jug. Oh, thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> um, thank you, Pat. You guys are so nice. <laughs> Look at this huge brooch. Now, it, in length, it is two and... Over two and a quarter inches in length. And then height, I'm just going to say over an, an inch and a half on one end, an inch and three quarters from um, the little ranchero guy. So we have a little rancher here guiding his donkey with the water jug. It's a 3D. Look at that. Oh, this is what I mean. Isn't this an amazing work? I almost thought this was Tasco, and I'm still not sure about it, but it is from Mexico. It's sterling silver. Look at that water jug. You can't find, you can't find this anywhere. I have seen smaller ones. I've sold smaller ones, 
but there's nothing like this on there. Oh, I'm so in love with it. Look at that. It's got the water jug. Isn't that so cool? The little ranch. Look at his face. You can even see his mustache. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It's so amazing. All right, I'm going to sell this one with the sombrero um, brooch. Jonathan, can you speak Spanish? Uh-oh, hold on. My little nugget fell. Hold on, hold on, hold on. to like <sighs> guide her everywhere okay let's see um only very terribly my family in mexico always make fun of me okay so <laughs> are you a pocho you are a pocho huh <laughs> i'm not laughing at you I, I just i think it's funny i'm terrible with my spanish too i mean i'm pretty actually i'm pretty good at reading and writing I get a little nervous when I'm talking to people be, if, after the pleasantries are over because then it's like, <sighs> you got to know everything, you know? And um, I lived in Mexico for a summer and I, I've been to Mexico multiple times. My parents took me all the time, it, or, or took us, I should say. Okay, I'm pairing this with this silver sombrero now it has the flag the eagle on the front and i don't know if you'll i don't know if you'll be able to see that but it's engraved on the front of the sombrero hold on let me turn the light on i don't know if you can see it I just, I love this. It's so amazing. And then it has enamel of leaves in green and then flowers in like a lapis color and red. It's amazing. I know you can't see the engraving. Maybe you can if I get, okay, here we go. A little bit closer. Uh, you still can't see. It's the full eagle that's on the um, flag is engraved right here. It's an oops, it's amazing. I'm going to sell these both. This one is extremely rare, extremely. If it does not sell, I may take it to auction. I might not. I might um I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> Quite honestly, cuz it's pretty special. What do you guys think? Do you have any, do you, do you have connections with jewelers in Tasco? No, I'd like to. That would be nice. Uh, I didn't feel like doing the machine tonight, so I don't, I don't do but a few hours. I am up. Oh, the BiPAP machine? Yeah, that, I, I wouldn't like that either. Making earrings and eating Chex Mix. Mmm, I love Chex Mix. I haven't had Chex Mix in years but do you make your own Barbie I like when people make their own it's so good and crispy uh, when I lived in Cali everyone thought I was from Mexico real you know what I can see that Manji I can totally see that <laughs> I'm gonna have pizza but I'm only gonna have maybe one slice that's it I'm gonna do both these pieces this is a very rare piece um, they had something similar to it, but smaller in the, um, Museum of Art. It 
And then the sombrero is so adorable. Look at that. So they're both brooches. They're both solid or sterling silver. And I've tested them. Um, I'm just going to put this price out there because it is worth it. And you could probably triple it because this one is so rare. And this one is very, um, this one I have not found either. And especially, I have never seen a sombrero with the etching of the eagle from the flag. This set, I'm going to start at 150 And if no one buys it, that's okay. I am in love with it, but I'm going to either take it to auction or... <sighs> Or list it but it's very rare this one I have sold others like it but nothing like this you can't find it and this one is an antique by the way so you can see how the little pokey part comes way after the little thingy and this one not so much but just so you know this one is um, newer Younger, I should say, than the donkey one. So if no one's interested, I'm going to pull them because I'm in love with them. And I should probably list them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Not here in Canada. Here they think I am from Fiji. I can see that too, Manji. <laughs> That's funny. All right. We're going to keep these for now, if no one's interested, and I don't think anyone is, so we're going to move on. Uh, I think you're from PG. Uh-oh, what did I do with the other bag? Did I drop it? All right, well, let me... Where does the bag go? Hmm. Oh, here we go. No, nope, that's not it. Here we go. All right, guys. Um... Not here in Canada. How much were they? Manji, the set was starting at $150. Did you say a price, Lori? Yes, $150 for the set, starting at $150. So I got, okay, thank you, Linda. Linda's at $150. Okay, I was on a cookie break. <laughs> Oh, I'm craving cookies too. I want, I want, um, I want chocolate chip really bad. I'm just, I, I told myself I would make chocolate chip cookies if I got all my packages out, which I didn't. So once I get them all out, I'll make the cookies. So we got Linda at 150. Uh, I was on a cookie break. I'm going to hold out for some men's ring, Lori. Okay, no problem. So if no one else is interested, Miss Linda is in at 150. And we're going to go once to Linda. And Linda's in Spain. Oh, Cheetos. Oh, my God, that sounds so good. <laughs> going twice to Linda. Oh, okay. All right. So Linda doesn't want them. Okay. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to wait on these. Thanks. No, you're fine, Linda. You're fine. Let me put, I need to put these though in a, cause I don't want to, um, I'm going to put them here. I don't want to, uh, hold on one second. One second, guys. I need to put this away. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 
Um, what's for breakfast, Linda? Ooh, yeah. All right, we're going to move on. Thanks, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I had a really good breakfast, brunch this morning, afternoon. All right, let's get into some other pieces. Um, let's see. Wait, you were looking for men's ring, right? Lunchtime here. Um, let's see. Men's ring, yes. Let me think here. Let me think, let me think. Okay. Um, okay, that's not a men's ring. I wish Dawn was here because I have something I want to show her. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to show it, but I wish Dawn was on here. Old Pond Men's Ring. Yes. I do. Um, I'm looking over there because I think they're in that cabinet. With eagles or guitars on it. No guitars, eagles. Oh, oh, now I don't. <laughs> What's up? Okay, I'm going to show this really quick. <laughs> Dawn, I'm sorry, I'm showing it without you. <laughs> but um, she likes vintage um, rhinestone. This is an impeccable piece. It's all vintage. It's gorgeous. My mom is really into these type of pieces. They are clip earrings. 4.30 here. I need to go back to sleep. I know you're a busy lady, but please send me an invoice. Okay, yes, I will. Sorry, Connie. I will. For sure, for sure. I'm catching up. I've caught up. Pretty much. I have two main packages to go out, and then, yes, you're on my list. Thank you, Connie. Um, I love vintage. Good night, Connie. <laughs> um, so these are these are Arroyo Borealis stones, rhinestones. They're all in there. Um, I'm not sure if this is from the 50s or 60s. I would say late 50s or maybe 60s. And it's this gorgeous royal blue and green and it's like a peacock coloring they are clip earrings they're in excellent shape let me move the earrings a little bit let me see maybe i should hang them like this hold on let me try to hang it Oh, that doesn't work. Never mind. All right, I'll just show you. Anyways, it's an excellent condition. They are vintage. It's a stunning piece. Oh, I love it. I am not going to sell this. In, I mean, someone has to love it. <laughs> so the rhinestones, it is vintage. Um, it's kind of a three-dimensional as you can see, so it's like one layer, another layer on top, and this is all, um, what's that word? Oh, gosh. Articulated. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the colors. Isn't that gorgeous? These are the clips. So they're Arroyo Borealis, which has that sheen to it on the greenish teal color. And then the blue is like that, um, kind of like an indigo blue, royal blue. I'm going to start this one off, the set, at $40. Because it's amazing. I love it. It's just amazing. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's... <laughs> 
we're gonna start this off at 40. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Look at, doesn't that look like a peacock right there? So, <laughs> don't be afraid. <laughs> All right, so we have Linda at 40. The colors are amazing. I've been holding on to this for a long time because it's just so beautiful. So it's all articulated, nothing is missing. The backing is stainless steel. So you can see how they put the two pieces together. It is a beautiful piece. Oh my gosh, and the earrings. Let me take the earrings off. Okay, that's the earrings. The colors are amazing. Speaking of peacocks, Glory, do you have any peacock jewelry? Oh my gosh, I do. Um, oh, I had a beautiful necklace. I think I sold, I did sell it. Let me think for a second, because I'm not, I can't remember. Look at how vibrant. Isn't that gorgeous? So the necklace is also in that blue. The earrings are stunning. My mom used to let us borrow her um, rhinestones like this for New Year's and dinner parties. So this kind of reminds me of my mom a little bit. And she had beautiful, I will not sell her stuff, but this is just beautiful. I love peacocks too. I think there, there's some peacocks around our neighborhood um, in by the river and in the older part and they are so funny they'll just stand in the middle of the road and the only reason they don't get hit is because it's like a bend in the road or else they would get hit uh let's see linda would we stop being besties if i bid against you <laughs> i have a big blue peacock bracelet and i would so well with this oh wouldn't that be oh that's so nice yeah, it's not going to fit you, Jonathan. <laughs> All right, we're going to go once to Linda. Going twice to Linda. Oh, it's so pretty. Going three times to Linda. All right, we're going fair warning and sold <laughs> to Linda. Thank you, Linda. I'm going to put it in a box right now because I don't want it to get ruined. Hold on one second. I don't want this to get ruined. Let me take the earrings out. I'll wrap those separately. Oh, it's so beautiful. Gorgeous, really. One second, guys. Sorry, I don't want it to get pinked up or anything. Okay. Thank you so much, Linda. Let me write it down. Okay, let's see. Put that up here. Move over up here. Linda. Vintage, I'm just going to call it the Vintage Peacock <clears throat> Rhinestone Set. Thank you so much. Wow, that's an amazing piece, Linda. Thank you. I love it, too. <laughs> I want to see you wearing it. Okay. Um, hmm. Men's Old Pawn. I think here. Okay. Oh, and I think I'm gonna 
bring this to auction. But that's not men's anyways. Um, oh, I found the ruby ring. But Susan's gone to bed. Okay, I'll put this aside. Because... <laughs> Isn't that funny? You always find things when you're not looking for. It. <laughs> okay. Put that there. That always happens. I just have too much stuff. Oh, Pat wanted to look at the ruby necklace. That's right. That's right. I'm sorry, Pat. I totally forgot. I don't know if Pat's even in here anymore. Um... My dad has some really nice pieces. Okay. Pat, are you still here? <laughs> okay. So I have... Let me put it on this mannequin. Um, it is... It's 10 karat gold. And it is hallmarked. Uh, let's see. What does it say? It's Ruby P-A-J-B-B. -B. Oh, okay. You're cooking. Okay. Um, it is a ruby set in 10 karat gold. Um, it has some diamonds that are all around it. I was going to bring this one to um, auction because it's a pretty nice it's necklace. It has all these diamonds. It's like an infinity design. And I think, yeah, these diamonds are all prong set. Yep. I'm going to show it to you. It's a 21 inch, I think. Kind of a, or hold on. I don't know if I measured that right. Um, I might bring it to auction. I'm just going to show you right now because... It is all diamonds, gold, and ruby, a big ruby. Yeah, so it is an 18 inch, sorry, 18 inch. I'm going to show it. <laughs> Pat has a really cool um, <laughs> um, coffee center. I kind of gave up on mine. Western food for dinner. Oh, what are you making, Pat? Are you making, like, tacos or something? Or pizza? So, let me get something black so you can kind of see. A little better. Ooh, fish and chips. Beans and bacon? <laughs> beans and bacon? <laughs> I do eat a lot of beans because I'm vegetarian, but I don't eat bacon. So the center is a teardrop prong set um, ruby. Then you have all these are diamonds all the way around. And they're all prong set. I'm going to wait to sell this. Um at the auction, but that's English breakfast, not Western, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, uh, beans on toast, you mean? Like um, white beans on a piece of toast? Yeah, that's kind of English. They call it, I don't want to say what they call it, but in the army, they would. my dad said it's called S-H-I-T on, on, sh on a shingle. <laughs> um, you know... I can weigh this, but I am going to wait to take it to auction because it is worth quite a bit. Um, it's 10 karat gold. It's pretty thick, as you can see. Nice chain. This pendant itself is heavy, but it has... Now, rubies are expensive, guys. People don't re realize that. Rubies come in various colors, but rubies are pricey. So are sapphires because they come in different colors as well. 
But look at all the diamonds and then that big ruby. Let me weigh it. I'll be right back. Oh, hold on a second. It's 0.2 of an ounce. So in grams, I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, but it's beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Oh, fish and chips sound really good. Isn't that gorgeous? A big ruby. So my, my birthstone is ruby, but I like the blue rubies, not the red rubies as much. That's just my personal preference, but the actual red rubies are worth more. Look at my, look at this gorgeous baby right here. Oh, baby, you're so good looking. You're so good looking. Ooh, I love waffles. All right, guys, I'll let you know when I bring this. I think I'm on the 21st with T and Donatella. Um, no, I'm just showing you guys right now. <laughs> um. I'm going to show it when I go on to auction. I think I'm on the 21st, which is, let me look when that is. Hold on. The 20, so today is technically the 16th. So the 21st is a Thursday. So in less than a week, I'll be on. So Pat, I'll let you know when I go on. But I just wanted to show you guys. Isn't that beautiful? It's a big pendant. Alrighty. I'm going to save this one, though, for auction. Um, the ruby ring, I think I'll save that for either auction or... I want I want Susan to be able to see it because she asked about it. I just want to make sure she gets to see it. What else do you guys want to see? I have... Um, Oh, Sandy, I didn't know you were still here. Thank you, Sandy, for coming on. Thank you. Thanks, Sandy. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, how much did it weigh? I missed. Oh, oh, and I forgot. I think it's 0.2 ounce. 0.2 ounce. Ounce, not grams. Uh, whatever that translation is for grams. God, these sleeves are driving me nuts. This is why I didn't wear it to work. Because it's just in my way. <laughs> um, okay, let me show you guys. Do you guys want to see some fashion? Oh, wait. You want to see old pond men's rings. That's right. Hold on. Let me look through here. Um, we're just going to do a quick preview on these. These are, maybe I shouldn't show things because, oh, this is so beautiful. This is signed. This is Native American. I'll show it to you guys. I'm going to bring it to auction though. This is antique, not vintage. All silver. Rondell beads and bugle beads. All sterling silver. It is signed um, on the back. It has a very old clasp. It's beautiful. I'll bring that to auction too. Just a little quick preview, but it is signed on there. And that's sterling. Okay, what did you guys say? Uh, let's see. Have a good night, Cindy. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> in silver or copper tones, not 
Oh, that is my preference. Okay. About six grams. Okay, thank you, Francis. <laughs> well, I'm going to bring this one to auction, Manji. But I will let you know when I go to auction, for sure. Um, it's on the 21st, and I don't remember the time. I think it's, um, oh, I can't remember if T said, like, 5 or 6 Eastern. I'm not sure, though. Don't quote me on that. Um, okay, hold on. Let me keep digging. Wait, I need to put that back. It goes in this box. I don't want it to get ruined. Okay. All right, this next piece, I haven't even cleaned it, you guys. I haven't um, even, it's, I haven't even, nothing. I've done nothing to it. I need to clean it. Let me just quickly clean the back so I can read the hallmark. But it does say Mexico, and it says Sterling. Um, I think it says Made in Mexico. Hold on, let me look at my... Oh, okay. No, it has a hallmark. <coughs> F... I can't read it. My eyes get so bad at night. But then at the bottom, it says Sterling in Mexico. Um, this is a very old piece. It has copper inlaid. I'm just going to quickly shine it up. What are you guys saying? Um, how much is it? I'm going to surprise you guys at auction with that piece. <laughs> so I'm going to wait on that one. Let's see. What's the signature? Subscribe to you, Manji. Thanks. Okay. So this one is, you know, I'm having a hard time making out, making it out. Hold on, let me shine the outside. Just shining it up really quick. Now the back I really need to shine, but just to give you guys an idea, hold on, let me. It says, um, <laughs> oh, okay, um, Hidalgo? No. F. I think it says Echo in Mexico. So made in Mexico. Let's see. 925 Echo in Mexico. That's what it says, I believe. And then it says Sterling and then Mexico. Now I haven't even shined, so you'll have to forgive me on the chain. I've had this one for a while, but I kind of forgot about it. And... I meant to shine it up, so let me just show you. I'll shine it up if you buy it, but let me just give it a quick little run through. Yeah, it's a little better. Okay. Now this one, um, it has one piece of turquoise missing, just letting you know. Let's see. I just might do a live in the future if I get enough subs to. Hmm. Oh, that's awesome, Linda. Yeah. From the nurses. <laughs> no, you'll be fine. You know what? You'll do your first one and you're like, oh, it's fun. It's totally fun. Um, 
it's kind of addicting too because I have made friends with all of the people that are on here and I look forward to talking to you guys so it's really rare I know I haven't been on that much lately but I I've just been kind of busy but I I'm on usually one or twice a week and if I'm not I'm so missing everyone So this is all inlaid turquoise. It's crushed turquoise, and it's green because it's so old. <laughs> um, and then the Scorpio is in copper. Really? Oh, you should come on live, Linda. We don't bite. <laughs> So I just quickly did a quick clean on the necklace. It's a twist, very old necklace. Um, and the necklace, hold on, I forgot to look at it. It says, oh boy, this is old. Yeah. Wow, this is like a really... amazing piece <laughs> just a necklace alone hold on let me let me shine up the silver findings I think it's so funny <laughs> that they call me silver findings <laughs> or um, creative findings that's the other one <laughs> no do not no do not lick my water cup that's gross I love you baby but you can't do that to mama Oh, you're so good looking. You're gorgeous. Okay, so I think this is a 22 inch. I'll measure it in a sec. This is very old. It's an antique. It is missing one piece of um, turquoise, so just so you know. It's all inlaid. So you can see the copper. You can still sell this. Or wear it. You don't even see that it's missing a piece of turquoise. Um, hold on. So technically it's not missing the turquoise. It's a part of the matrix. Just like down here. Part of the... Oops, sorry. Um, ah, let's see. Technically it's not missing... So you can see that there's white of the turquoise and everything. Now, this part of the matrix, which is white, is flat. Now this one, it's kind of dug out because sometimes the matrix can be bubbly and crumbly. Excuse me, buddy. Can you come down? Um, so it's not... It's just a part of the matrix where it's like, you know, um, crumbly. I'm just going to say it is missing just to be on the safe side. But God, this is like a really excellent piece of work. Okay, if anyone's interested. Isn't that gorgeous? So the piece that I think is missing is right here up in the corner right there it's kind of a part of the matrix this one is flat so we're just gonna say it's missing it's copper inlaid and the turquoise has green from age it does oxidize are you Scorpio really <laughs> Um, it's gorgeous work. It does say made in Mexico, which I'll show you the back. You're a Libra. Okay. So I need to clean up the back. The necklace itself is how long? It is, I know it's Friday night. Isn't that exciting? I mean, I don't normally get excited over Friday night because, I mean, all the days seem to be, like, the same now. But <laughs> I was coming on, so I got all excited. 
Um, it is a 10 and a quarter, so 20 and a half inches is what it is. Yes, my birthday is November 12th. November 12th. Okay. Mine's in July. July 21st. You guys don't forget it, okay? <laughs> don't forget my birthday. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to be celebrating it by myself. <laughs> oh, wrong way. All right, I'm going to start. This is an antique. Um, even though it has... I'm going to say it's missing a part of... I'm just going to say it's missing it because I want to play it safe. But it's an antique piece. Yes, I'm a Cancer. Isn't that cool? Everyone thinks my sister and I are twins, but we're not. <laughs> we're five years apart. Let's see. Yes, my birthday is... There. Okay. Barbie, I would have never thought that you seem so comfortable in front of the camera. What? What did Barbie say? She's not comfortable? Really? I am shocked because you are so comfortable. What? No. Yeah. Get the gifts ready for us, Emanji. <laughs> um, I'm going to... I'm going to start this one off. It's all inlaid work. It is an antique. 20 and a half inches. I think it was, yeah, 20 and a half. Um, I'm going to start this one off at 85. It's just, you're not going to find this kind of piece anymore. It bear, no, it, what? You have bell palsy and my face, your face is crooked. No, it's not. You look great, Barbie. I love when you wear um, a bright lipstick, like a fuchsia. It's so pretty. All right, we're going to pass on this one. I know we spent a lot of time on it, but it's so gorgeous, isn't it? All inlaid copper. We're going to pass. We are passing on it. No one's showing any love. So we're going to pass on it. Let me put it back in its um, thingy. <laughs> um, we'll put it in here. I don't know where the thingy went. Uh, Jonathan, didn't you want it? I don't think Jonathan was interested in it. But it's gorgeous. I love the, the Scorpio. Um, I'm borderline OCD. That blemish would drive me nuts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys are funny. No, I get it. Because it's kind of like how Donna said tonight that her husband, if he had a scratch on, on her his glasses, that it would drive him crazy. I kind of get that, too. I would, I would, I kind of get that. All right, this um, is pewter and inlaid copper. Oh, you could color it in. That's true. You could, actually. It is a beautiful piece. Um, I would say this is more of a women's bracelet cuff. Um, it's all pewter with the inlaid copper. They go into the trash. Oops, you would be surprised at what my glasses look like. Yeah, Barbie, you're so flawless when you go online. You are on live. You guys are both flawless. I love your fuchsia lipstick, especially because your eyes are so bright blue. And it just sets off your whole face with your blue eyes and your fuchsia lips and your blonde hair. And I like I like um, Ken's beard right now. <laughs> I'm not normally a fan of facial hair, but it's so it's such a nice beard. It's so big. <laughs> All right. All inlaid copper. 
I'm going to start this one off cheap, you guys, so be ready to start bidding. <laughs> um, this one is going to, we're going to start this one off at, we're going to start it off at, Fifteen. It's a woman's cuff because it is smaller. I mean, it fits me, but um, it is a smaller cuff. We got Jonathan at fifteen. Okay, Linda, would you like to come in at seventeen? <laughs> Listen, Linda, I can just see him say <laughs> All right, we got 16 with Manji. Oh, um, oh my gosh, look at my makeup. It's crazy. Oh, now I just made it worse. Um... Barbie, Lori, and I have talked about your pretty blue eyes. Yeah, we have. And beautiful hair color. We have. We got 20 with Jonathan. And, by the way, Barbie, I was going to tell you, there's this guy who got Bill Palsy one day. He was a, um, I think he was like in his 30s. And he, he um, videoed himself um, with his progress. And within 60 days, his face was back to normal with the exercises he did. So, I, I need to find that again. Um, it's really worth watching, but he was really, really adamant about it. Yes, Barbie has a channel. It's uh, Barbie Barbie's Crafts. Barbie's Crafts, right? All right, we got 20 with Jonathan, and we're going once to Jonathan, going twice to Jonathan, going three times to Jonathan. Manji, are you in and out, or in or out? <laughs> um, hello, late night people. Hi, Jennifer, how are you? Gosh, I haven't seen you in about a week. <laughs> Yes, Barbie Crafts. Okay. Okay. I guess Manji is out. I think she's out. Okay. We're going to go three times to Jonathan and fair warning. And sold to Jonathan. Thank you, Jonathan. That's a nice piece. Thank you so much. It's all inlaid. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. Oops. You know what I would like? I'd like a copper um, pig. I've always wanted a copper pig. So did my mom. We went to, um, we used to go antiquing when I was a kid. And she wanted this antique pig so bad. It was copper with patina on it. And it was gorgeous. And, oh my gosh, I wish she would have gotten it. So now it's my destiny to try to find another copper pig. I don't know why my hair is like sticking together. Oh, my hair is a mess tonight. Okay. Jonathan. Um, let's see. Pewter. Copper. Cuff. 20. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, can someone drop Barbie's link? Okay, let me, yeah, let me find it. Hold on. Let's see. Or Barbie, you can drop it. You're, let's see, are you a wrench? I think you can drop it. Are you a wrench on here? No, she's not. Okay, how do I do that? Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Can I make her a wrench on my phone? I don't think I can do it on my phone. Hold on. Let me see if I can do it on here. Hold on, guys. Um, uh, where is she? Here we go. Barbie, where are you? 
Barbie. Uh, add moderator. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, Barbie, I just made you a moderator, which I would have thought you were a moderator already. <laughs> just drop in your channel link so they can find it. Her and her husband are so sweet. And I love their dog, Cowbell. <laughs> so cute. She's a sweet dog. I, I miss... Is she a lab? I miss having Fred around. He was a lab. My sweet rescue. Um, I don't remember if I... There, there she is, you guys. Just click on that link. I don't know if I showed that. I think I showed this one, so I'm not going to show it again. Alright, let's move on to something different. Yeah, I do have some men's rings, but they're at my dad's house, I think. So I'm going to have to grab them. I'm going to have to grab them maybe tomorrow, or not tomorrow. No, no, no. I'm going to grab them on the 20th because I'm going to see my dad on my mom's birthday. We still celebrate my mom's birthday even though she passed away. Um, we didn't celebrate Mother's Day together, but I'm going to try to get together with him on my mom's birthday. We'll just have to wear masks. Um, and I'll get it from him then, them, then. And then we'll get together for his birthday, which is the 31st. And I'll make him his favorite cake. I'll make it two days in advance. I won't touch it so he can eat it. What do you guys say? Um, Max was a lab. Okay. She's a blue tick hound. Oh, okay. I'm confusing the two. Yeah. Oh, Max. Sweet Max. Um, just from the pictures, why on earth? Oh, Sandy! <laughs> you better go to bed, Sandy. I know. I should probably end this soon, too. Oh, my gosh. Don't you guys feel so guilty when the sun is coming up? I mean, because lately, like, I've been... I mean, as you guys can see, it's not light out yet. I have my tubs over here. That's more jewelry in there. <laughs> um, that's a lemon tree right there for my little lemons. And my patio and I feel so guilty being up when the sun comes up it's like oh my god this is worse than college isn't it this whole pandemic because I'm off in my time and I can't sleep and I'm having coffee at the weirdest times Ugh, can't handle it let's see would yeah, let's see, show, let's see, sun shining through. Oh my gosh, the sun is shining. Let's see, would be uncomfortable showing your face, Barbie? Oh no, Barbie's always on. Barbie and her husband, she's always on. Good night. Um, Sandy, are you going to bed? Tennessee State Dog. I do, yeah, Barbie comes on every Tuesday. Sometimes you've been coming on different days though, huh? Uh, the sun is shining bright and warm here right now. Oh my gosh. It was only like 85 here today. But last, yeah, last week I think it was 100 twice. You are too, I know, huh? Okay, let me just show you guys some more pieces then. If you guys are willing to stay on, um, you guys want to see some fashion jewelry? Hold on, let me look for some, yeah, I want to show you guys that, and, hmm. and I also have new pieces, too, for my dad. Oh, wait, I'm keeping that. <laughs> Well, I'm going to show you guys this. I showed you guys this last week. Now, this sells for quite a bit on eBay and Posh. Um, it's 
Now this designer made this in different forms. It's um, Bennett. Now it's a bolo tie. Um, okay, so it says Bennett and patent pending. So you'll see that in when you look it up on eBay or this is the biggest one I've ever found though. And it is turquoise with a beautiful matrix, a little matrix in there, the brown. It's set in a smooth bezel, as you guys can see. I haven't even cleaned it really, to be honest. There we go. So I'm just going to show you real quickly. I just quickly um, shined it up. Okay. It's in a smooth bezel. It has the rope design below it. It is a bolo tie. And it does say Pat or Bennett Patent Pending. Look that up on eBay. Now this can go for $375-$400. Um, uh oh, where'd it go? How in the world did it get way over there? Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. Okay. However, I'm only going to sell it for a certain amount because I want you guys to make some money off of it too. Um, so here is the back where it says patent or Bennett patent pending. And let me shine it up real quick. Hold on. Let's see if I can get in there. Yeah, that's better. Right here. That's much better. Bennett, Pat Pending. Now, personally, you can wear this as a bolo tie. I think it goes, yeah, this way. But you can also wear it, you can make it into a piece of jewelry, like, you know, a cuff. Um, <clears throat> this is an awesome piece. Uh-oh, what are you guys saying? Uh, no, 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 not today, Jonathan, for now. No more rain, Linda. We are too worried. Oh, you're getting hot weather, too. Okay, just Tuesday you're on. Okay, okay. dinner is, a, is done. I will have to take my dinner with my family. Catch you again, Lori. Bye. Okay, good night. Or, have a good day, <laughs> Pat. Okay, you're still on, Sandy. Okay, good. Um... Oh, it's cold there. Okay. Okay, let's see if this link works for Barbie Crafts. Okay, it didn't work before. Okay, it works. Okay. Oh, is there a beauty before she broke it on the floor? <laughs> it didn't break. <laughs> I, believe me, one thing I learned about stones, when they're this big and thick, you can't, even if I threw it on the ground, it wouldn't break. <laughs> Um, thank you. A big ring. Wouldn't that be incredible? Look at that. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. Anyways, I'm going to sell the this. A bracelet would be really nice. It's huge. And it does sell for quite a bit of money if you want to put the leather bolo tie with it. But I'm just going to sell it, the actual bolo part, for $175. Buy it now. I'm not going to even do a bidding on it. 175 And if no one wants it, I'm, I might take it to auction. Or not. <laughs> it's really nice. I really do love it. It's a huge piece of turquoise. You're not going to find these vintage pieces anymore. But look it up. Bennett Patent Pending. Bennett. That's the name on it. So you can make money on it, but I'm asking $175. Let's see, what do you think it would sell for on eBay? Well, they have sold for $375, $400, but this is bigger. This is the biggest piece of turquoise of the Bennett collection I have found on there. So the ones that sold were like, 
not even that much of turquoise. So this is more of a rare piece. All right, Linda's got it for 175. It's a great deal. I'm gonna miss you, my little beautiful friend. <laughs> I love you. I'm not gonna kiss it, but I I do love it. It's so gorgeous. Would you make um, a bracelet out of it, or are you gonna wear it as a bolo? Linda, I know it's so gorgeous. I just love it. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's okay. I'll bring Old Pawn next time. Yes, I do have White Buffalo. I'll show you guys some of that right now. Hold on. Let me put this away. I love you. I miss you. I'm going to miss you. I want to see it on you, Linda. I love it. Goodbye, my love. You're so beautiful. There's only certain pieces I feel really, you know, passionate about. And that was one of them. Okay, Linda. Okay, Bennett. Patton. Pending. They always say that. Uh, I'm going to call it a bolo tie. Turquoise. Bolo. Tie. Oh, I'm so glad you got it, because I know you like stuff like that, Linda. Uh, let's see. I would, yeah, I would do a bracelet, too. That would be beautiful. Let me go grab the, um, the white buffalo. I have three cabochons of the white buffalo. Um, I think they would be great for a set, like, a, you know, earrings and a necklace, but that's up to you guys. That is Native Spirit talking to you, Lori. <laughs> you know what my my spirit animal is? I've decided. I've really decided this because I think it has to absolutely be true. <laughs> and this sounds crazy. But, no, I'm not going to even say it because you guys are going to think I'm crazy. Let me go grab it. Hold on. I know Francis knows. <laughs> Hold on, guys. grab these three pieces. Um, I don't know. I think I've missed, this blouse is like kind of bothering me. It's so blousey. It's so like like a tunic. It kind of <laughs> bothers me. Um, I do have the white buffalo, but I don't know where I put it. I know I put it aside to take it to auction. So... Put it. Hold on, guys. Let me think. Let me think. What's ooh? What's that? Okay. Hold on. I know it's here. <laughs> it is in one of these boxes. I think behind me. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's heavy. Oh, here it is. See, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, little history on white buffalo. <laughs> so white buffalo, um, 
because it's devoid of the color of turquoise, it was considered worthless um, in the early 1900s. Only the poorest of the Native Americans used it, but today it is very highly sought out. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I mean, that's just crazy to me. Okay, what are you guys saying? Uh, let's see. Um, that is, uh, mine is an armadillo, so <laughs> that's cute. Uh, yeah, thank you, Francis. Um, and my totem animal is a raven. That's pretty cool, raven. Yeah, armadillo is a cool animal, too. They're sweet little things. I don't even want to tell you what they do with them when they eat them. Like in Mexico and stuff. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. I want to tell you what my spirit animal is that I think. <laughs> I think you would be a Tasmanian devil. Oh, to to um, Jonathan. Okay. So this is a three-piece set. I think I want to sell it as a set too because um, they all came from the same host, Matrix. They're cabochons of white buffalo. I think two would be perfect for earrings, matching earrings. And then a necklace. That's being the devil. So you see the bottom ones, how the veining really match very nicely for earrings. And they're cabochons. And then that one on top. Cabochon is just how they cut the stone. So it's like an oval. Kind of like a half, not a half circle, but like an oval. Uh, I know that they, unfortunately. I know, Han, Linda, I'm so sad. Oh, you know what? My favorite um, rescue group is in Spain. In, um, oh, I can't think of where he's at. I'll have to send you the link, Linda. Um, so Cabochon is, see how this is faceted? They cut it. It's got square sides. Or smooth sides and then it's like a, a nice oval on the front so let me show you like that maybe you could see it a little better so this is a cabochon this is the back kind of looks like marble doesn't it it's gorgeous <laughs> that's the front they're ovals and then the earrings which I think these would make perfect earrings Oh, so beautiful. Anyways, if you want, if anyone, I should say, is interested in this three-piece set of white buffalo. Well, let me put the thingy back on. I'm going to do this auction style, but they're all cabochons. So you can make earrings, pendants. Um, you could set it in a bracelet setting if you wanted, but I think the bottom ones make perfect earrings, and that would be a perfect pendant necklace. Okay. I know, and same with, like, iguanas. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Anyways, um, I'm going to start this one off at 125. 125. Now, Martha sold a beautiful watch band. It was vintage with white buffalo. Oh my god, I was so in love with it. And I wanted to buy it so bad, but I didn't have the money. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't. <laughs> but I, god, I love that thing. So I got Linda at 125 Oh, I want to see if you make anything out of this. They're just beautiful. Well, I don't think anyone else is interested. So, we're going to go once to Linda. And this is like my own, my dad's only white buffalo right now. 
Um, he got this in Nevada. He knows the person who um, got it out of the mine. Going twice to Linda. Going three times. I have a food friend who makes jewelry, so send it to her. Oh, you're so nice. Three times to Linda and fair warning. I think I'm doing that right, right? Fair warning. And sold to Linda. That is a good deal on that because it's hard to get white buffalo and each, each piece is pretty pricey. What are you going to do with it, Linda? They are beautiful. No, not food friend. Oh, okay, you have a good friend. <laughs> Wait, let me reread that. I have a good friend who makes jewelry, so I will send it to her. Oh, I want to see it when you're done. It's beautiful. Yeah, um, my Mallorca, Mallorca, is that the town? My Mallorca, does that sound familiar, Linda, in Spain? Mallorca? Well, that's where one of my the big rescue groups that I love to watch he is like a big vet um, rescue group in Mallorca. And um, thank you. And I'm just curious if you watch him. I can't remember their name. When I find it, I'll, I'll send you the link. Linda, White Buffalo. And that is it for my dad's White Buffalo, too. Goodbye, White Buffalo. For now, anyways. Buffalo. Three piece cabochon sets. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Okay, good night, Miss Barbie. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you, Barbie. Thank you. I do watch you, Barbie. Sometimes I'm taking care of stuff and listening to you in the background. And, um, I don't always comment, but I'm listening. <laughs> Thank you, Barbie. I'll talk to you later. Let's see. Oh, good. I'm so glad, Linda. Okay. I'm going to show this piece here next. Um, this is, um, it's an artisan piece. It's, um, Arizona Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. And it's um, in sterling, size 7. I'm going to, uh, this is a dual, it's oxidized silver. It's uh, made to look vintage, but it's brand new. And um, it is, what was I going to say about it? Oh, um, a bi-split band. Bi-split. So there's two bands. It's a size 7. And it's purposely oxidized. So even if I try to clean it, it does get a little bit brighter, but um, it's made to look vintage and it has a little oxidation to it. But I'm going to shine it up really quick just to give you an idea. Oop. Wasn't that nice of Donna and Robin to come on? Because <laughs> normally, um, I mean, they're on normally at this time, or when I was coming on, so that was really nice. But they ended kind of early tonight. Okay, I'm not going to totally shine it because I kind of like the oxidation. All right, it's a surfboard design with a sawtooth. Um, bezels. That's the little jagged teeth that are like jagged that hold the, that gives it that vintage look to it. And then you have the surfboard that it's on. There's three stones of the Sleeping Beauty that comes out of Arizona. And then we have a bunch of um, embossing on the bands. I'm going to start this one off at $50, which is a great deal for Sleeping Beauty, and then we'll go from there. Size 7. Oh, oh, almost dropped it. 
Um, is it real stones? Uh, turquoise, yes. This one, yes. Yes, ma'am. They're Arizona Sleeping Beauty. So they come out of a mine out of Arizona. And they get this Sleeping Beauty where you don't see any veining in the turquoise. You can look it up. It's beautiful. But that's the um, that's what the draw is for the Sleeping Beauty. It's expensive. So we got 50 with Linda. Size 7. I need more water. I talk so much. Well, uh, Lori broke another one. <laughs> I didn't break it. <laughs> oh, God. One time I did drop um, a big stone that my dad had. And I did chip it. I felt so bad. All right. We're going to go once to Linda. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to go twice to Linda. Here's the back, by the way. Super well made, too. But the star of the show is R. I'm sorry, R. The Arizona Sleeping Beauty. There's no veining in it. That's what they're known for. Three times to Linda. <laughs> and sold to Miss Linda. All right, thank you, Linda. Let's see, did I write down... Size 7. Okay, I did write it down. So I always put the info on the back, just so you guys know. And if I don't, I will include, uh, include, include a packing slip with all the info. Okay. Linda. Um, sleeping. Beauty. Turquoise. N25. Size Seven ring. That's a great deal, fifty dollars. That's really good. Okay, thank you, Linda. Let me put that over here. Thank you so much. Okay, next thing is um, it's a set. Wait, let me show you this one first. Um, I gotta read this off. I think I wrote it on the back. No, it's on a spreadsheet. Which is right here. Okay. Um, let me bring this to auction. You okay, baby girl? Where are you? I hear her. Hold on. Oh, girl, you're right here, baby doll. Come here, little girl. Come here, my little girl. Oh, 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 don't fall. Don't fall. What is that paper on your back? Huh? My little girl. Look at look how gorgeous. It's okay. It's okay. I'm right here. Okay? You okay, baby girl? Huh? Are you okay, my doll? Isn't she gorgeous? You guys look how tiny she is. Oh my god, I love her so much. She just she's blind, so she cries all the time because she doesn't know where she's at. She can't hear. Mm. You okay, little girl? You okay, baby? Mm. You're okay. Okay, get down, buddy. I need to hold her. I need to hold this little girl. Okay. <clears throat> uh, oh, careful, baby doll. So this is... Wait, what piece are they showing? Oh, right, right, right. Spreadsheet, darn it. <laughs> I thought I had all my spreadsheets together. Um, oh, wait a minute. Is that it? No, that's not it. Hold on a second, because I want to give you guys the carrots in here. Come here, little girl. Oh, little girl. Um, oh, here it is. Move 
buddy. You're, I'm going to sit on you. you got to move. Can you, like, not beat up here right now, baby doll? You don't fit. He has to be up here, like, all the time with me or with her. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't, okay, I don't know what you guys are saying. I, um, thank you. I know she's so fragile. You can literally feel and hear her bones a little bit. I'm going to have to put her down soon, I think. Um, I know, my gorgeous baby. She loves to eat. I made her, I, the other night I was trying to make her a bean burrito. And I think I was on with you guys. Yolinda and Jonathan, you were on, we were on Cha Cha's channel or something. It was late at night. And I burned the tortilla because, <laughs> and it was my last tortilla. <laughs> she likes to eat bean burritos and she loves flour tortillas. I don't like flour tortillas, but she does. And she devours bean burritos. So when I was like, dang it, I burnt the tortilla. <laughs> okay, this is Mojave Blue Turquoise. So it, um, Mojave Blue, I'll show you in a second what's... Um, um, indicative of Mojave turquoise because it comes in blue, green, and purple. But turquoise, when it comes in the blue or the green and the purple, it's lighter. They usually dye it a little bit, but it does come in a lighter version. Some people think that it doesn't exist, but it does. It's just a very light color. Um, so it's Mojave blue turquoise. It has earrings and the ring. It's a size 5 and it's in stainless steel. It's 12.15 carats. So it's all from the same matrix or the host. So they got it all from one stone. Um, it's a huge bubbling. That's a cabochon. It's huge and bubbling. So you see that veining in there with the gold? That is very indicative of Mojave Turquoise. So you get the ring. It's really beautiful. Look how big and bulbous. Then you get the earrings, which are right here. Okay, little buddy, you need to get down. You're going to make her fall. Sorry. You, no, jump down. Sorry, you guys. He's just jealous because <laughs> and then this is these are the earrings so this set um I'm going to start at I'm going to do a good price on this so those are the earrings I'm going to start this set at 65 can you see the veining also in the earrings just like the stone of the ring Wrong way. Um, she's my kind of girl. <laughs> yeah, I live off of beans, believe me. I, I'm vegetarian, so that's m most of my diet. <laughs> that's the earrings. You can see the gold flecking, veining. And that's the ring. All right, no one's interested. We will move on. All right, next one is what I do with it. Oh, here it is. Okay, this is um, this is an artisan piece. Yeah, I usually cook beans in a crock pot and then I'll refry them in water. I don't use oil, water. I think you do, Manji, or it's a similar set. The setting is different, though. But, yeah, I think you do. Good memory. <laughs> so this is um, Burmese Jade, Red Jade. And that's a pendant. Look at all that work. 
So when they make this, it's on smooth silver, okay? And then on top they put, so you can see they put another layer. I don't know if you can see, but you can see all the swirl marks. Ooh, ooh, I just dropped it. It's okay, Linda. <laughs> um, and all of that, all the little balls and the swirls are put on individually. So you get the pendant and the ring, which is the same. in the Burmese Jade. Um, this one is a size 6 and it's 8.63 carats. And for the set, third broken rock. Uh, you keeping track of this now? Come on. <laughs> uh, this, I'm going to start off, I'm going to start this off at 75. And if no interest, that is totally okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. Thank you. Who gave me a $5 super chat? I don't remember that. Who did that? Was that Donna? I just saw it on the top here. I just see a $5 super chat. I don't know who that's from. Well, I think it was from her. That was nice. Okay, okay, girl. You want to get down? Here, go over here. She knows she can find her water. Go over there, baby girl. She's so cute, you guys. She only weighs four pounds. Barely four pounds. I love her so much. Gosh, my hair is a mess. I need to like, oh, I need, I need to take care of my hair. I need to color it. It's like I have streaks, but they're kind of all grown out. My hair is a mess. Sorry. Okay. Um, let's see. That's the ruby. <clears throat> I don't want to show the ruby. Uh, you guys might be interested in this. I don't know. Well, actually, not so much. <laughs> um, this is, let's see. Oh, I got some more earrings for my friend, Giselle. And she makes the sterling silver and stone earrings. I think I'll show those tomorrow or, yeah, I'll show them tomorrow if I come on tomorrow. Or I'll show them to you guys next time. They're beautiful. And... Um, by the way, Jonathan, your earrings, she, she dropped them off too. So I have all your earrings in. So yeah, I'll be sending them out. She said she apologized for having sold out. Okay, this is a vintage piece. It has a rhinestone um, eye. It's all stainless steel and it's um, two-tone. So I don't know if you can tell, but like the lips... The peaks are all in gold there. Okay, thank you. I just want to, I just want to keep you, you know, aware, abreast, I should say. Um, it is a pendant and a brooch. And it is hallmarked, um, J, I think it's JW or JJ. Oh, MJ. That's right. MJ. Um, and this one is, this is an older, thicker piece, but hold on. Let me show you guys. It is stainless steel. See how does it stick? No sticking. Um, it's not silver, but I would totally wear this as a pendant. Isn't that adorable? And it has a little rhinestone eye. Um, I'm going to sell this one, well, 
no, I'm sorry. I'm going to start the bid at 20 if anyone's interested. And that's the back, and it's hallmarked. Right on the fin, right there. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay, no interest. We'll put my little friend away here. All right, I have a silver ring. Um, it's made, <clears throat> I can't remember what my dad called it. Mufa, Mufa um, casting. It's when they take a shell and um, and I do have a bracelet to match this ring. I need to find it though. I haven't found certain things, but whoever, if someone buys this, I will find the bracelet. It's a big cuff bracelet, just like the ring. And I think it's a lotus flower. Anyways, it is drilling silver. I think it's called Mufa. I'll ask him. But it's a shell. And it's carved, or they use the shell the way it is, but obviously they carved it to make it into a lotus flower. And um, it's kind of an, um, an expensive and very intricate artisan piece because you have to carve it. It's not like using wax. You're using a shell that already has an imprint on it. And then bufa. Bufa? I think it's bufa can't remember and they carve it and then they cast they pour the silver or the gold into it and so that's how they get the design all right this is five and three quarters um now this is not from that that um design i'm talking about but the bracelet is which is in this lotus design so this is just a regular like sterling silver ring I think it's called Bufa. The bracelet is casted in a Bufa casting. Not the ring, though, just to make that clear. Um, anyways, this is a size, what did I say? Shoot. Um, almost a size six, five and three quarters. And I'm going to start this one off at 15. It's a lotus flower. Five and three quarters. Quarters. I love lotus flowers. Isn't that beautiful? <clears throat> okay, no one interested? No, we'll just... I like it on my, um, actually my index finger too. We got Linda in at 15. Isn't that pretty? Okay, if no one else is interested, Linda's going to get the deal tonight. <laughs> going once to Linda. It's just about a knuckle ring, which means knuckle to knuckle. So, let me show you what I mean. It goes from your knuckle here to your knuckle here. So, it's considered a knuckle ring. Isn't that nice? Going twice to Linda. Oh, and it's a bi-split band, which is nice. That's a nice accent. Bi-split. Cut. Going three times to Linda. And fair warning, guys. Sold to Linda. That's a good deal, Linda. <laughs> Thank you. Where did the baggie go? That's not it. Where did it go? Hold on, guys. I lost the baggie for it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. I don't... Yeah. I like to... Oh, I just dropped it. 
Now it's over here. Hold on. Gosh. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Okay. Alright, that's Linda's. So, Linda. 925 Lotus. I'm going to call it the Lotus Knuckle Ring. So you know what I'm talking about. Great deal. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, are you guys interested in seeing anything else? Or should we call it a night? And I could come on tomorrow. Um, I love this color necklace. I really do. It's my, it's one of my favorite necklaces. I love it. <laughs> um, should we call it a night or... Because I'm kind of tired and I'm kind of hungry. I just want one piece of pizza. <laughs> and, um... I will, but I will see you guys tomorrow if you guys want me to come back on tomorrow because I do have some more stuff. I have so much stuff that, that, um, yeah, that didn't sell. I'm, I might try to come back on earlier tomorrow because, um, it's a little bit easier. I, um, let's see. Linda, what time are you up? I forget what the time difference is. Is it nine hours? Oh my gosh. Sarah, get down. Get down, girl. Sierra, she has to be right here. <laughs> um, email me, and um, I'm going to email you. What was I supposed to email you? I forgot. Something. I'll remember. I'm so tired, I can't even think right now. So, guys, I will see you tomorrow. And Sarah says goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, let's see, you go get back rest, Lori, not sure, I think it's eight hours, I think it's eight hours, um, oh, so Mallorca, you said it was an island, that's kind of, that's cool to know, um, <clears throat> anyways, guys, I will see you all tomorrow, I am finally, like, when I, when I hit a wall, I, like, hit a wall, <laughs> So I will talk to you all tomorrow. I'll probably come back on. Oh, thank you guys for everything. I'll invoice you. Sarah. Oh, Sarah in the morning. Late morning. Because I'm, I'm going to try to sleep in. <laughs> and, um, oh my gosh. She's just in my face. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> Bye, you guys. Yes, um, well, what did she say? Oh, the island of, okay. Okay, cool. That's so cool that you know that. <laughs> I'll forward you their link, too. Filled with tourists. Oh. Yeah, your pictures were gorgeous that you sent me. Okay, bye, you guys. Sarah says goodbye. <laughs> bye. Night, everyone. Sarah, get get away. You're in my face. Sarah. What was that? Sarah.